Okay, here we are, session 102 of the Code Lands, Hope and Despair. Uh, last session, the group had finally taken control of the ship and was on their way to the rendezvous point to possibly meet Mordenkainen, who still wants the ship back for himself. Uh, Metagame-wise, I think Vigor has plans of trying to trade his his uh, water skin of water of sticks from the river of water from the river sticks with uh, the wizard to possibly keep the ship. Matter of fact, I think Vigor has already been report calling himself. Uh, what you guys call him last time? Crapton, Crapton Vigor. I think it's what you guys were affe <laughs> affectionately calling him. <laughs> yeah, affectionately. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, so you guys fought off the uh, the other airship that was chasing you guys. You fought off uh, a brief boarding attempt by a, a giant, uh, basically demon-looking minotaur, for lack of a better term. And then you guys had just popped through the portal that uh, formed in front of you guys via the teleportation uh, powers of the ship itself. Um, during Oh, I forgot to mention that to, uh, to Diddy or Aelin, I think, that during this journey, as Vigor is basically come attuned with the ship, he's learned certain things about the ship. He's one that was able to tell the folks how the the uh, the, the cannons can be charged by another spellcaster. Uh, spellcaster is pretty much what needs to run the ship because it uses spell slots, metagame-wise, uses spell slots to kind of charge things up. Um, every time it uses some of its major powers, like teleportation, it requires basically sustenance. And sustenance for this ship is a, a humanoid or a fleshy pod body. So all this, the things that you guys have killed, you guys put downstairs in the lower deck and pretty much let the ship feed at its at its leisure, so to speak. Oh, I was right with that. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, so you guys pop through the portal. Uh, as you guys pop through the portal, you guys find yourself in a, another wintry, snowy mountain pass. It's high mountains on each side of it, and you're, the ship's kind of going through the valley, winding, winding. The wind and blinding snow is kind of blowing in your face and everything. It's still got poor visibility. Uh, but now you guys are on the path. And Vigor knows through his attunement with the ship that you guys have about an hour of travel here before you reach your, your next rendezvous point. Okay? So that's where we'll pick up. I'll leave it on this, this map for right now because it's just kind of like theater of the mind at this point. If you guys need to see the other map, I can move you back over to it. But just want to give you guys an opportunity if you want for the next hour to either take a short rest, ask more questions, do more investigation, wherever you want. Or we can jump ahead one hour and find out what happens. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, last battle, I ended up with plus three hit points. So How'd you get plus? That thing, that healthy kills doesn't give you temporary hit points, does it? I thought it was just... No, not temporary, but... Um... I don't recall how, honestly. Something happened, but... Or maybe it was just somebody healed for, like, three points or something, and I don't know. Anyways, yeah, okay. I'm doing okay. So I was thinking, man, it'd be nice. Just go on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> does anyone does anyone need some healing, Og, if they need it? Give it to, I think Vigor's taking some hit points of damage, yeah? Yeah, Vigor appears to be the one that's... More worse for yeah, wear than anything. Victor took Victor took a little bit, but Vigor is the one who was uh, who was taking the most. Uh, oh crap! Oh, we haven't had a long rest or anything, so I've still only got five points to lay on hands. Okay, uh, and let's see if I've got any spells left. Oh, and you guys did learn in the last session that you were able to heal the ship as well. Because oh. I think Vona was the one that basically saved the yeah, ship from right. being destroyed. Yep. Right, I'll go over to Vigor and give him a spell. I'll go, go, buddy. Uh, all right, just let me know how much you're giving him, and I'll, I'll add to his uh, character. There, there you go. Uh, Ten points, It's uh, and I'll just take two off my spell thing. Okay. Well, he's more than uh, better than bloodied. I don't know if you guys can see his. You guys can see his health bar, right? Yep. Okay. All right, so he's doing much better. Okay. Anything else you guys want to do, investigate, have conversations about or anything on this journey? So what layer of hell are we on, boys? <laughs> uh, 
since you're you're in the helms room, it's you, AS, and Vicar in there. Um, I don't think anybody has done any kind of role. I mean, from what I explained to you guys, you're basically on a mountain pass somewhere, and Vigor cannot determine what layer he's on, even with his attunement with the with the ship itself. So there's not really not really definitive way of defining that right now. Okay. But it looks pretty cold, right? Yeah, you're, you're trapped. The chip is basically down below the, I guess, the upper peaks of the mountains in between this valley of these two mountains passes. No sign of civilization or anything anywhere near this. And the ship is kind of on autopilot right now as well. But Vigor still has to maintain his connection, so to speak. So his hand's basically on the gemstone, that center pedestal in that home room. Okay. All right. Well, assuming nobody else is going to have a conversation, let me just switch back this map here and I'll just pop you right here in the center a little bit. Let me fix my recording screen so I can actually see something other than one room. Our perception is here is where's the helm's room. That's where Vigor's basically in control of it right now. I'll say about, about a half hour's pass at this point. And for Diddy, uh, this helm's room, this front right here, we can see a little bit of like a yellow. You're back on the map, right, Diddy? Yeah, I'm right. I'm right there. Okay, where I'm pinging, that's basically like a, a glass, I guess, front to this little section in here. Uh, from the outside, it looks like metal. But from inside, it's glass. You can kind of see through this here. Uh, everywhere else beside you is all like going to be metal stone walls. Uh, I'll go ahead and say this door right here is actually up and open. You can see it back, but you can't see anywhere outside. Bigger is the only one that really has that true sight of all around the ship and everything, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, the rest of you guys are going to stay where you are, or would you have moved around at this point? I'd, I'd like to go out and look at it, see what I could find on the ship. Just in general, or are you going to a certain spot looking for something, or what are you doing? Uh, well... I've already seen where we dump the bodies. Mm -hmm. um, and so just kind of make my way out of there and go, you know, just look for anything interesting, any signs on the walls, um, any places that look like they could be storage locations, you know, like storage bins on the side. Okay. So in the, the half hour you, you've, I guess, been on this trip up to this point, um, pretty much Vigor has the capability of, speaking to all you guys telepathically you can't speak back to him but he as the captain of the ship can pretty much tell you guys what's going on and during this half hour he's kind of telling you small things he's been able to pick up with his attunement with the ship and uh, he would have told you guys about the cargo hold in the back of the ship um, during the half hour you could have inspected that seeing it's, it's pretty much been picked clean there's hardly anything in there there are some lockers and stuff up on the each side of the cargo hold in the very back of the ship but Again, nothing of any kind of value is going to be seen. This thing's been picked clean for centuries. So there's not going to be anything worth finding. The most peculiar things and the most recent room has been opened up is the Helms room. And I think I kind of explained to you guys last time what all was in there as far as the abyssal uh, writings on the wall, the weird-looking gemstone with those metal-looking veins running through the walls and the ceiling. Okay. So Nera's going to go find somewhere to sort of sit and see if she can get a short rest going so that she can uh, get some key back. Okay. Um, so she's going to step off and maybe go into the research wing area. Okay. Sort of hang out there for a little bit. Um, look through the big glass window out as we're uh, as we're traveling forward. Yeah, I'm glad you pointed that out. I forgot to mention that to, uh, I guess, Rich and, and uh, Diddy that that section of the ship is basically, if I ping up here again on the actual ship itself, you can see the glass window right there. That is pretty much this little research wing right here on the middle deck. If that makes sense. Yep. Okay. And so I've moved Victor in there too. Victor and Nair are just going to hang out in the, in the, in, in that area and, and keep an eye on where we're going close enough to the guns that we're, we're back there if we need to be. Okay. All right. I'm cool with that. Uh, Usul, hang out where he is at now and get a short rest as well. He's going to sit in the chair? <laughs> Might as well, you know. It's probably pretty comfortable. Okay. 
And for Rich and uh, Diddy's, uh, I guess, uh, information-wise, uh, you would have known this by the conversation with the rest of them. I don't think either one of you got into the, the actual cannons, but when you sit down in them, these little tentacles kind of pop up, and they basically latch onto your wrists, and that's how you're able to control this this uh, lightning cannon, basically. But you basically are connecting with the ship, kind of in a small sense like Vigor is, if that makes sense. Okay. All right, Rich, what about you? Um, I am down about half key, so I'll, I'd spend some of my time, my no, my um, natural inquisitiveness, um, exploring, uh, poking, prodding, and then resting. Okay, give me a general idea of what area of the ship you're poking and prodding. So I, so I know if you're gonna do something wrong or bad or good. <laughs> well, where I'm, from where I am, I'd probably you know make my way through the research ring. Um. And then head back towards the cargo hold. I mean, just generally nosing around, opening cupboards. Okay. All right. So you're in the research ring. I'm just going to move you so I'm clear. And I'm going to have Bona okay. to stick with you. Usul staying there. Near you went in the research room. So did Victor, right? Hang on. And there you have access to Victor's token as well? Or is it just a screen? I, I moved us both, but I've got a uh, little red screen of death. So I'm sure to pop there. There, it just popped there now. Okay, all right. And then Diddy, you're staying up there in the uh, Helms room with Bigger and AS, right? Uh, actually, I'll go to the top, if, unless it's freezing. Um, so I'll go and sit up on top, and I'll take, uh, you know, I'll sit up on this sort of platform over here and just look around and start mapping hell. So I'll start going, oh, okay, this is what it looks like. I'm sure not many people have got maps of this place, so um, I'll get my charcoal out and I'll start drawing it and just sit back and watch. All right, so just so we're clear, if you're looking for a point where you can see, um, let me shift you up. If you can see up here in this ship, you're basically standing right here where I'm pinging, and there's yep. a set of stairs and a platform right in front of you. Yeah, so That's kind of like I... the lookout point if you want to stand on that. Yep. That is basically like right here. Yep, that's fine. I'll stand up on there. And... Okay. Okay. Unless it's freezing cold and I'm going to die, but I'll just... Well, it, it is pretty damn cold out there, but I imagine all you guys have got your winter clothes, so I wasn't too worried yep. about that. A ring of warmth. And rings, yeah. Yep, I think everybody had one of those, correct? <laughs> Sorry, Nira. <Yeah. laughs> Alright, so I'll move you up here. That's where the yeah, no top right. platform thing is. No worries, right. and I'll just tie myself out onto the, the platform, you know, with a bit of rope, just in case I get a bang or something. Okay, Fly yes. All right, so let me get a bearing. Um, Nira, give me a perception check. What is your What is your passive perception? Give me that first. Passive is seventeen. Passive is seventeen. I don't like that answer. <laughs> <laughs> that means I do. All right, so let me find my notes here. All right, I'm assuming as you're up in the front the front room there, you can see out. You know, the front, you're looking down at the mountains, you're looking down below you guys, and you see uh, below you guys, probably about, I don't know, maybe 150, 200 feet down, that's about how high, high you are from the, the valley floor. Uh, you can see what appears to be a herd of Yeti. It looks like they are chasing and starting to surround a mammoth down below you in the valley. This is, this is the first sign of any kind of living things that you've noticed on this journey for the half hour since you come through the portal. Okay. So I'm going to pass it on to the other people that are in my area. See if they know if there's any, if, if that's, if there's any further significance to that. Okay. We could kill, kill them all and we could uh... <laughs> eat for a week. <laughs> well, bring them up here and feed the ship. That's, that's true. Um, do we have any direct connection with with Vigor? Like, is there a two way communication system of any sort to be able to talk to him? Not unless you have like message or sending. So the ship doesn't have a way for the crew to talk to the captain, just for the captain to talk to the crew. Correct. I mean, this is a thing to ship. You're supposed to just take orders, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> 
Right, but there's there would be you'd figure that there would be a way for if one of the fiends saw something that they could tell the captain instead of just keeping it a secret. Yeah, um, some of the fiends might have had telepathy. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna. Um, do you guys want me to run up and just let Vigor know that uh, that sort of we're just that information and that we're starting to see some uh, some signs of life. I'm going to yell it up to 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 Sir Didemeyer and have him pass that information on because he's sort of in the in the stairwell right now. Yep. All right. Did he give me a perception check? Did he see how well on? you interpret what the hell Nir is yelling at you? <laughs> I'll listen. I'll go. Yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, you you can you can make out exactly what Nira is kind of shouting up to you, and as she uh, does that, Nira, you turn back, look towards the front again, and yep. you and you first you hear a whoosh, then you look forward at this little ring that's kind of oh shit, I'm on the wrong wrong freaking layer. This little ring out here in front of the ship kind of mm-hmm. lights up. You see where I'm pinging? Let me do a shift click, yep. for everybody. Yeah, I see. It. That kind of lights up momentarily. And then you see forming in the middle of that is one of these. And it, ah. and it has a surprised look on its face. It kind of looks around like, what the? <laughs> now I need you to roll initiative. <laughs> the ship just ported the Yeti to us? Yeah. It's hungry. It, it's He's hungry. To feed. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? That's probably exactly right. Yeah, that's how it'll work. Ah, oh shoot, where's my token? I'll be having a, my coffee. That was a okay. great roll there, yeah. Healthy. Um, yeah, why don't you go way. have a nap while we uh, <laughs> while we start our first round? Well, hopefully it's big and lumbery and it'll just take its time. Oh, still man. The stiff. I hope it doesn't have a high wisdom. <laughs> all the all my creatures that fight you have high wisdom, right? <laughs> all right is everybody in yes okay did you roll for uh oh Victor? no i haven't rolled for rand yet hold on i haven't rolled for rand yet okay there we go okay so let me sort this this is something rand would want to hug just for the record <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to hug everything because it's soft. Because it's soft. <laughs> it's so cuddly. It just needs a bit of acupuncture pressure in it. That's Bury his face right into the okay. right into the chest for. As a free action, Diddy, I'll allow you yep. to shout one word. <laughs> okay, <laughs> intruder. Okay, that's that'll work. <laughs> Near you hear Diddy scream, intruder. Okay. So if I do my distance correctly, um, I'm 36 feet away from the uh, away from the stairs, and then uh, another 60 feet away from where the yeti would be. Is that about right? Yeah, I'm cool with that. Okay. All right, so I'm going to move my full 60. So that would be um, here, and then the equivalent of about here. So that would put me right about here with my single move. So we'll go back a tiny bit so that I can go around the corners, but that's where my movement would put me. Okay. Um, now, if I dash, this I don't know the answer to. If I dash and use the rest of my movement to dash, do I? can I still use my bonus action? Yeah, I think that's, that's fair, yeah. That's, that's right, right? Okay. So then I'm going to move the rest of the way to it. Um, as long as that bonus action have... isn't relying on something else to trigger it. You know what I mean? Right, it's not. Oh, yeah. So okay. I have the ability to do a stunning strike on this thing. Uh, sorry, not a stunning strike yet. I will have an ability to do that. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'll have the ability to do a, um, a key field strike on it. Um does that require oh, no, you to I make can't. an attack, though? No, I can't. It doesn't require me to make an attack. It does require me to use a key point. So what I'm going to do 
uh, is I'm going to do this. Gotta find it. Oh, hold the phone here. So this is my regular movement. Yep. Um, I'm then going to use a key point to do a dash as my bonus action, which is going to get me there. Okay. Uh, and so I haven't used my turn yet, so I now get two attacks, two unarmed strike attacks. Uh, I'm going to do them as whip attacks from 10 feet. <laughs> so I'm going to whip. Does a 21 hit? Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, so then uh, I'm going to use a key point for a stunning strike. That is a wisdom And just save. so that you remember, that's what it looks like. And, oh, sorry, I should probably... Oh, look at that, you saved. Good work. It doesn't happen very often. So, so the DC is 15, just so that you know. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to do another whip attack. That must miss. Yeah, that one misses. Um, I've used my bonus action. I've used my two hits. Um... Don't think I have another move that'll get me out of there. I'll use that. Um, yep, that's as far as I can go. Okay. So I am. So my turn is done. <laughs> oh no, that's not true. No, no, that is true. I've used my bonus action already. Okay, I'm done. Can I get this right? This is your welcome to the ship. You just kick them in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> welcome on board, buddy. Wow. Yeah, I didn't stun him though, so I'm, I apologize to everybody. <sighs> I'll just look at it and go, hey, look, it might be. Fr oh, no, I don't worry about it. The last one that I stunned was a flying creature, and when we flipped upside down, he dropped to the ground. Yeah. I'm your failure about. has been noted for your future review. It's okay. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, you're up next, Alan. Feel free to follow the same model. Pretty close. Uh, I had actually question first. Um, is there Alan's dim light next. or, or no? I'm I'm down much further. Um, but I, I just for background, is there dim light or shadow, or is it all bright light? On it is this, not on bright. The... It's overcast and uh, blowing snow through hot It's dim light everywhere. Okay, so that plays into turn on your turn, Ala, and that's the way to go is to do a, a a go and then a bonus action for your sixty. Yeah. All right, so my guy gets an attack. That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Yay! So first thing he's going to do, he's going to, after he shakes off his what the F just happened, and then sees this little man run up and punch him a couple of times, or whip him a couple of times, uh, he kind of turns down, looks down at you, Nira, and his eyes kind of, kind of glow for a second, and he just make me a con save. I'm going to put it in chat just so everyone can see it. Ooh, failed. I wouldn't... You see what that says, right? Yeah, I do see what that says. <laughs> um, but I do have a ring of warmth, so I'm while I'm not immune... Yeah, it doesn't resistant, I believe. I Ring of warmth does help you with environmental, not with uh, actual damage. Oh, oh, I think those are the boots. They All give right, you resistance. Uh, so take your 21 points of cold damage, and the table has been turned. You are paralyzed for one minute. I think you can repeat the end of each of its turns, or each of your turns, yeah. You can uh, repeat that save. But unfortunately, it sees you are now frozen. And doesn't know where the heck it is. He's going to pick you up, and he's going to toss you off the ship. Okay. Oh my! <laughs> there is no opposing strength. I'm not making him do that because you're you're paralyzed. So, yep. Chuck. And then it's going to take the rest of its movement to. I'm going to check how far it can go. Because it's going to be barreling towards Diddy next. Uh, Forty feet. So it was right there. Let me double check my distance. Uh, sh not turn order. There we go. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to say, Nero, flap your wings, Spike. You don't have any wings. But it is running towards you. And I'll, right about there. Not quite to you. 
It's about well, 10 feet I'll away. Wonder it, I wonder if it's friendly. Uh, <laughs> one second. I think it has one more thing it can do. Nope. It uses chilling gaze, so it can't use the other one yet. And that's it for his turn. So hopefully he'll survive one more round. Victor is up. Okay, so Victor only has 30 movements. So Victor is going to move to the stairs. So, uh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so he's got that. I just have to figure out if he's got anything else that can get him farther than that. Aside from his sprint, uh, aside from his dash. Uh, well, I'm going to get him there anyway. So, uh, so we're going to use his dash um, to get. So that's where he is. And we're going to use him. I won't put him right in front of the dude, but we'll put him on this side. Diddy, if you want to go on to the other side, then you can go on the other side. Yeah, thanks. And I think that's pretty much uh, all he's doing because he can't attack anything. He can't even throw a javelin because he couldn't get close enough. Oh. So if he uses his uh, action... If he uses his dash as an action, if he uses action surge, he can then use his attacks, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's actually going to go close with his dash. Uh, he's going to try to get paralyzed as well so that he can get thrown off the ship so that him and Nanera <laughs> can, uh, uh, can have a race to the ground. <laughs> Falling damage experience. How high are we off it's the ground? It's adventures. Um, and so I believe that what he's going to do with his first attack is he's going to attempt a grapple. <laughs> no way. Because that's what, that's what he'd do. To, that's so unlike him. That's <laughs> so <laughs> no. So is it a strength check or is it an athletics check opposed a by whatever you want? His, his athletics, athletics versus whatever I want for mine. Okay, so for his first, he's going to do that. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, <laughs> on that, you I rolled guy. a twenty-three. <laughs> There's nice. nothing about being a, a large. Or uh, no, he can do large, but he can't do bigger than that. Okay, that's what I thought. So make sure. All right, so <laughs> he is now effectively grappled. Let me give him some kind of a weird moniker to show he's grappled. And, and I that think way. he uses his. I think he uses his next attack to try to force him to the ground, if I remember right. That sounds right, yeah. Uh, but I don't remember how he did that. Actually, I think is the that... first one is a strike to hit, and then he does the grapple. Does that sound right? I think I he always tries to strike first, and then once he does that, then he can do the the whole grappling and knock him down thing. But I could I be wrong. Think so. I don't think so, because he would have to do that as an unarmed attack, and I've never seen him make an unarmed attack before he grapples. Okay. My understanding is that he grapples and then shoves, and then he tries to punch, and then because he's only got two attacks in a round. So those are the two things that he tries to do, is his grapple and his shove. Okay, all right. So I just don't remember how the shove is. Is it another athletics or how that works? So if he's already either. grappled, um, okay, there's no disadvantage other than his speed becomes zero when he's grappled. So yeah, one more athletics opposed... Again, let's do it that way again until he shows up and tells us we did it wrong. <laughs> I think so. Let me just do a quick check to see if he's got anything in his system that talks about what shove is. So using the attack action, you can make a special melee attack to shove a creature um, either to knock it prone or to push it. So he likes to knock it prone. Target must be no more than one size larger, so we're all good. Uh, instead of making an attack roll, you make a strength check contested. So it's just a contested strength check again. Okay. So this is so he's already got him grappled, and now he is trying to shove him. So is this it contested is strength, or does he get to use his athletics? No, no, no. It's uh, it's 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 athletics. It's athletics or acrobatics. Okay. It's a but it's yeah. Well, he it's the same 10, as the grapple. So he lost. He yeah. <laughs> it's plus okay, it's twelve, so it doesn't matter. So he what is you roll. now he is now prone. And grappled. Yay. And Nara's just 
just out of sight, and she's like, "Good job, Victor." <laughs> I don't know. Can you scream if you're paralyzed? I forget. Let me see what it says here. <laughs> paralyzed. Uh, considered incapacitated. Can't speak or move. Automatically fails strength and deck saves. Oh, yeah. Well, she's dead. She might be. Because you said that she's a. It's about 200 feet above, I think is what I said, roughly. That's yeah. how. Okay. Now, she you did blinks the... enthusiastically. And you did the math last time, didn't you, about how fast you fall in one round? What was it? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it again. Because <laughs> I don't remember, because I don't remember what the number is. It might be in chat from before, but I don't remember what the number was. Yeah, I thought it was something huge, like five hundred feet it's or something brutal. like that. Oh yeah, it's it's brutal. Oh, wow. And what about the snow, though? Uh, <laughs> yeah, because the snow well, will have it. If you jump from high enough into like water, it's still going to kill you. <laughs> Does she have the ability to break the paralyzation before she hits at the end of her if turn? So then she has slow fall. It's the end of her turn, though, so I would and say she will survive. Not. Okay. All right, so Victor's turn is done. Yes? Yeah, Victor's turn is done. Okay, Aeolin. <laughs> Monk power uh, zoom. He is going to burn the key point to dash. Why am I not oh, I'm on the wrong thing? Right there. Shoop. He is prone, so I have advantage. I am burning a key point. Or actually, no, I can just attack. So I am going to attack. And because I have advantage, I am doing a sneak attack. And we're going to do first the attack. On arm strike. Whack. Take that. Kick him in the face. Did you roll a second sneak time attack. or was it with advantage? That was oh I no I did not roll with advantage. Just one more time um, for the attack. We'll still use that first damage, but just you may okay. get a crit. So, nope. You nope. got a crit, all right. Well, I got a crit, the wrong kind. <laughs> um, and then we're adding sneak attack, which is another two points. Wow, that was sad. And then burning that key for flurry. These will be normal. Whack. Yeah, there you oh, go. Yeah. So it's not six. And it's be seven plus eight. So, so fifteen eight. on the first one, twenty-five total for those two. Okay. They yep. both hit. Eight, twenty-five. Yep. So um. Oh, sh uh, can I, I? Can I burn another key point and roll for stun on the flurry? I didn't think so, but just looking for a rule. Yeah, you can. No, you absolutely can. Oh. And we're going to go for stun. <laughs> Paralyze and stun. You guys just want to... Just to be stunning every, to every your time, wall. Every time you hit, regardless of when, it counts. You can roll okay, I, you I, do a key I'm, for stun. All right. So uh, he rolls a DC of... Do, 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 I think I want to say it was 13. Ooh. Oh, he makes it, actually. I'm, yeah, I'm liking Yeti, except he's, except he's you know, grappled and okay. prone, but he's fought off the stun twice. That's like a first for me. All right, so I am done. Thank you, Yeti. Okay. Moved, keyed. Oh, did I recover any key during my resting period? Uh, did you get no? Because it's been a half an hour. I'm okay, say you then got no. at least an All hour right. to get the, your short rest in. Just curious. Okay. Excellent. I am done. All right, so everybody else added vigor only because he's controlling the ship. So if you guys collectively want to decide for vigor, if he's going to like maneuver the ship any way different, you can. Otherwise, we'll jump over him and go right to Diddy. I would say, um, if we scream, get after Nira! Put the <laughs> ship in the nose, nosedive. Yeah, Bigger would have noticed her falling off the side of the ship. Mm -hmm. So, you want Bigger to start nosediving towards the I don't Earth? know how, I don't, per, I mean, player-wise, I don't know how nimble these this craft is, so I'm not sure if he could get down underneath Nera. Again, collectively, is this what you guys want to do? She's going to take 10d6 damage because she's paralyzed. Um, oh, she has wow. she has 91 points of, of health. So, yeah. I mean, I but don't want to metagame. I don't want to metagame you, but we're not high enough up that she's instant death when she hits. Isn't it 20d6? Yeah, it's 10 Nera. feet for every d6? Yeah, yeah, it is. To a maximum of 20. Right, and you're about 200 feet above. Oh, I thought uh, you said I was. We were a hundred feet up. No, no, like two hundred feet. Okay, so then it's twenty d six. 
And there's also other Yetis down there and a mammoth, right? Right. <laughs> That's a death sentence. All Maybe right. within range or not. <laughs> Well, that, that that's what what uh, Alan would he, he'd point where Nero went over the side and say, and yell, bigger, fairer. <laughs> so good, just a collective decision by all of you guys. You guys all want him to start diving the ship down towards Nero. Yep. All right. So bigger straddles the pedestal, screams at As to hold on. <laughs> And you guys all feel a jolt as the thing just starts diving down. I need everybody that's not in a seat like Usul to give me a dexterity <laughs> save. <laughs> oh, that, Diddy's tied off to the thing, so he goes... <laughs> Diddy's tied off to what? I didn't hear you were tied off anything. I, I, yeah, yeah, I said I was uh, putting rope on, so I couldn't fly off. So. Oh, okay, I missed that part. Yeah. But you still make me yeah. a dex save. Yep, no worries. Fucking Nero. <laughs> oh, that's for uh, that's a Victor. Sorry. <laughs> exactly. So that's it then. Just those two. I'll need to just Diddy and Aolin. All right, Diddy. So you don't fall off the ship, but you fall. Yeah. Basically, let's see how's this going to work? Uh, it's going to shoot you back this direction at first, and then the ship's going to start falling. So you're just kind of floating in the air right here. Okay. Falling. Yeah, you're not. You're not. You don't have purchase on anything. You're you're floating with no. the ship as you're both plummeting towards the earth. No, the worry. Um, the Yeti is grappled and prone, so Victor's would have superseded his. So okay, he's basically in Victor's grasp. Right there. And Vona's rattling around in the research wing, <laughs> like a <laughs> loose <laughs> cannonball. <laughs> Uh, let me do one for for AS real quick. Just off on the side. Shit, where are my dice? What kind of a DM are you, Brian? Where did you put your dice? Shit. Oh, there they are. My kids were down here. Or my grandkids. Yeah, AS is able to hold on. Kind of in the corner. All right, so that's Vicar's turn. Diddy. You are free falling. Okay. Uh, free falling. All right. Well, I'll pull myself back on my rope um, to my origin point. Um, so once I land, do I like equalize to the thing, or am I still going to be? How are you moving free over there? I just, I'm just going to pull myself back to the origin point where the rope is. You know, so I'm flying, but I'll pull myself back the to the anchor point. Yeah, that's going to take your full movement and an action to do that. Okay, yeah. So, oh, if I if that's going to happen, if I if I um do a misty step to the creature, um, do I just hold on to the creature or something, or do I just whack it? That's your choice. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. Well, look, there's there's only one thing to do. Then I'll pop my wings out, and um, while I'm flying there, and then I'll just fly over to the creature and give everybody the um the the extra saving throw bonus and I'll land next to this little guy um who's probably also flying <laughs> and um I'll just wait and I'll I'll be ready to dive off to get near I suppose so uh 5 10 <laughs> get ready to dive off and get nearer Nira is about 12 seconds from thudding <laughs> Uh, so are, are we diving faster than Nero is falling, or no? Uh, you're going about the same speed. <laughs> so I'm I waving. Was... I'm waving at the ship. Uh, <laughs> I've got, I'm going to try and do the old, uh, the best thing I can do for her, because she looks pretty bad. Um, so uh, I've only got 50 feet, though, because I'm still attached to a rope. <laughs> uh, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'll... I'll fly over towards her, so I'm not going to go near Mr. Yeti. I'm trying to save my friend. Um, and if the ship drags us down fast enough, I'll try and catch her. Okay. You're, you missy step to her? Is that what you said? Uh, no, no, no. I've just pulled my wings out, and I fly to her. You can't get to As her. The, the, you can't fly faster yeah. than, the, than the ship is falling. No, I understand. But what I was thinking is, because the rope's pulling me down, because I'm still attached to the ship who's dragging down, yep. I was just going to fly over here. So if we somehow manage to get 
um, close enough to her. Or the actually, there is a way I can do it. Um, how far down below the ship is she from where we are? Because I was thinking of Misty stepping to her because that's a bonus action and just grab her while I got my wings out. Well, did you put in chat? Yeah, it's 400 feet in six seconds. So she's roughly about 200 feet below the ship. Okay, all right. Uh, oh, 100 feet because it's only 200 feet to the ground. 100 feet, I'll say halfway. Yeah, oh, it looks like I'm going to miss it, but at least I've tried. So uh, yeah, fly over. <laughs> <laughs> fly over as thanks, the, as thanks the for the it effort. It really good. Uh, and then, Plus, um, you've got a I'll rope cut. on you. And I'm all just yeah, rules since you never told me how far, how much slack you had. You only had about 30 feet of slack. So yeah. no, you oh, can't well, get look, that I mean, far. It's... Yeah, the only way I could do it is fly out 30 feet, misty step down and get out of the rope, of course, and then um, and then just be trying to get her. But if they, if it's Operation Impossible, um, I will just fly to there to see that she's actually going to, you know, not going to make it. So I'll put it this way. You can it. get as close as 70 feet to her. That's what I'll say. Close? 70 feet. Ooh. Let's see if there's anything I can do. Um, and then is she going to hit next round? Does it, does logic look like she's going to plow into the ground next round? She's going to hit, she's going to hit the ground before her next turn. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Teleportation wise, I can do. I know, I can compel Jewel with her and she can't get without 30 feet of her. <laughs> I don't think that works for paralyzed people. <laughs> <laughs> that are falling. Oh, wait, is, is, it, is, it a, is it a force field? Let me see. That. Oh, this would be really You cool. are compelled to defy <laughs> gravity. <laughs> uh, if they attempt to move more than 30 feet away, they must succeed a saving throw. Um, but the spell doesn't restrict the target's move uh, for that. Oh, it does restrict it. Have a look. I mean, it's up to you there. That's. I'll, I'll actually can build jewel with her. Um, oh, wait, I, I can't. Uh, because I've... Oh, wait, I can. How far away is she? 30? No. Nah, 70. Be close enough. Bummer! Oh, that would have been brilliant. Um, okay, so I just sort of fly over, and if I see she's going to crash, I'll fly back to help my friends. Because <laughs> there's, no, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> uh, and how, how long will it take us to get to the ground? It was your full movement to pull the rope yeah, to get, to, get to right here. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, no, I don't need to pull the rope. Um, all I need to do is if I'm over here, right, I just sprout my wings and I fly. So I'm just going to go with the ship that's dragging, of course. Okay, I'll let you retcon that, even though when you first started, you were pulling yourself. But I'll allow oh, well, the retcon. Okay. Um, if, it, if it's impossible, then I can just sort of fly over to the... Uh, no, to the you're going to be over here, yeah. Diddy. You can't retcon yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. All right, I'm over there, um, and I'll just get to watch it hit the ground, I suppose. There's not much else I can do. Um, and if I misty step, I'll be out of the rope, right, to, and 70 feet away from her. Yeah, misty step, you, you, you're not going to be in the rope anymore. All right, um, which is probably a good idea, just in case you guys don't pull the ship up in time. Um, so I'll pop out, and I'll be flying 70 feet away from it players all right so let's recap what we just retconned here so <laughs> you were right here you yeah. popped out your wings, wings. is that an action to do that yeah it is an action and then okay. i fly over to there and then to get out of the rope i do a misty step down towards which is know. a bonus action it is a bonus okay all right so you can missy step and get to nearer then that's what i'm hearing right because missy step has a range of what uh 30 feet, I think. Oh, 30 feet. feet. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's got the range. Okay. If you get 30 feet, then you're within 40 feet of Nera. Yep. If it's only 30 feet. I thought it was 60 feet. Is it? Oh, Because it's similar to Shadow Step. Oh, 60 feet? Really? It got within 70 feet. <laughs> I did not do that on purpose, Nera. <laughs> <laughs> unless, allow, unless you allow me to fly down towards her like diagonally nope, already ruled that like, you're going to be 70 feet from her i'm not going to i'm not going to change yeah. that no, that's cool. but double that's check right. the, the distance on that misty step real quick before we oh, i thought i thought it's only 30 feet but... oh no misty step is 30, 30 feet 30, it's 30, yeah, it's 30. okay so you're within 40 feet yep. of her <laughs> as you really Mira, and the ship are all rocketing towards the ground which is coming up <laughs> really fast <laughs> <laughs> well, just so you know, for next round, I'll put the brakes on 
uh, even if the ship hits the ground, I'm free flying, so I'll just move and and land if if that's the case, but not try and plow into the ground at twenty feet. Okay, we Total shall see. Party wipe, trying to save Nara. Yeah, yeah I just Kill sort the, of swim. If she goes, we all go. <laughs> That really bad. Oh, no, I'm worried more about when she hits that there's, like, how many Yetis are down there with her? Well, metagame-wise, well, no. Vigor is freaking out right now, thinking that they're just going to ram the ship into the uh, Earth below. But we'll see what happens. I, I, thought, I'll say, I, I think that, right, nobody's, I'm not, I'm I think that nobody's looked. Nobody's looked to see if I'm falling in the middle of a pack of Yeti, chasing down a Mammoth, or if the... And we've, we've just changed direction, and the Mammoth and the Yeti were all running forward. So... I'm going to guess that they're going to not be... I'm not falling into the pack of running Yeti. Ah, good. Oh, well, then at least I can help you out. Right, because my forward motion is stopped, but theirs isn't. Yeah, near is paralyzed, so she... I guess technically you can still see. Oh, I'm watching. I'm looking. Okay, so go and give me a perception. Near entity. No, fuck it. You don't need a perception check for this. You, you guys can see that the, the pack is back behind you. You've already passed over the pack. Probably a good, I don't know, 60, 80 feet. Okay. Oh, God, they're, they're running towards you. <laughs> they're going to trample you. Unless they, unless, unless, they get the, unless they get the mammoth first, and then they stop and eat the mammoth. That's it. All right, so Diddy's turn is over now? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best to get to Nira. I, okay. I don't care about the Yeti. I'll let my friends know that. Usul! All right. Up at this point, all you heard go. was Diddy yell intruder. You probably hear somebody clanging around up here in the, <laughs> the front of the ship. and A lot of two, dwarven swearing. You probably yeah. heard some footsteps going up and down the steps. That's about it. Okay. At the sign of intruder, I started uh, scanning the horizon or scanning for uh, targets with my gun. <laughs> uh, From your vantage point, all so... you see is the side of the mountain, and then you feel the ship like just dropping. Okay, but with, my, mammoth? but with my incredible perception, would I have seen Nera get thrown off? She's below the ship, I, underneath you. She's not to the side of you. I totally thought he was screwed with me. Oh. No, I was, no, 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 but I was thrown from a, the deck above. This is like Wall Street guy trying to commit suicide. Yeah, I, he I thought he was from the deck me. above. And, he and, can I, and I get that, but I want to show you guys something. I'm going to remind you of, the, of the, where he's sitting. There are three windows right here, right here, and right here. Yeah, but what, couldn't he have been able to see me fall through this window? Tell you what, I'll give him a perception check at disadvantage. This is Usul, so that still means it's All a right. pretty good chance. But I'll yeah, give him a perception true. check at disadvantage. Okay. All right. I mean, he can't do anything, Ooh. but it'd be great if he could see me fall. <laughs> Well, did Brian. he see you fall? <laughs> and no, Rand, I was not lying to you. And I totally in, thought in you were court. lying to me. I, I literally kicked everybody out. I was like, I got to go help. Robert. I'm free fallen, <laughs> and I'm pretty much fucked. Uh, okay, you see something out of the corner of your eye that looks <laughs> kind of like Nero <laughs> falling. Black. Okay. And you've seen her do feather fall before, and she's not feather falling. Or whatever her right. thing is called. And so... Bye. Where is she? Out well, here? Just, you see her come up here, and then you lose her, because she's below the ship now. You would have saw when she first got tossed off, but then she dropped below the ship, and then the ship took a nosedive. So you don't see her right now, but you did see her for a split second get tossed off the side of the ship. Okay. I'm going to make a split-second decision. And I am going to misty step as close to where I saw that, uh, <laughs> saw her. <laughs> and with my bonus action. I'm so glad this is being recorded. <laughs> so we can both fall. <laughs> All right, you're misty stepping to somewhere out in the open. Yep. No, no, he's saying that he's going to snatch and misty step back, right? Okay, you, no, cannot, no, I... you cannot see Nira, but you can misty step just oh, somewhere he's... outside. No, he's a druid. He can just teleport. He can just turn into a big giant. Hey, no metagaming. Me. So yeah, what are you doing? No, that, that's exactly what I was doing. I was I I wasn't sure whether I wanted to be a griffin or a um a pig. 
You want to be a pig, uh, a right? A gargoyle. <laughs> so, um, so put yourself yeah, right was, here. Okay. Put yourself right there. Where I'm pinging. And then, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna become a griffin. Uh, I'm sorry, a gargoyle. Gargoyle. Okay, you should have access to that. Can you drag and drop it? You need me to. Uh, I'll do what I can. Under characters and beast forms, I think. So, hi, the gargoyle. Hey, Ram, put your uh, mic on uh, mute for a second. Sorry. Hey. You see it? Okay, yeah, you got it. Wow, why is he so low? I guess we never uh, pumped up his... Let me put his hit points back to normal. That must have been the last time you played him. Right, there we go. He's back up to full health. All right, so from that vantage point, I'll say the same as Diddy. You're about, what I say, Diddy? You're 70 feet away from her? Yeah. Because yep. Mississippi is only 30 feet, right? Well, that's correct. Okay, so you're about 70 feet away. You see Diddy with his wings out plummeting towards the earth near uh, about 70 feet below him. She just kind of limp flapping in the wind. Now, does so she get this a turn? Is, so this is my math, Brian. So okay. Nara at, at, at second zero got thrown over at 400 feet in six, in six seconds. When you divide 400 by six, that means that every second she's dropping 66 feet. Right. Stop and, and so, um, when we talk about when we talk about how turns work, we're all fighting in the same six second turn. Nara just happened to go a millisecond before everybody. So at most, by the time it's uh, by the time it's Asul's turn, um, yes, we would have we would have finished the full six seconds. But that Diddy would have so finished about the four seconds. So. She's almost at the ground now by the end of this six seconds. Let me just put it that way. Yeah, I, I agree with just, you. You guys, you, you guys need to know that, that she's almost, that when the six seconds is over, she's actually, she actually hit the ground three seconds ago. Yeah. At the start of her turn, guys, she's going to hit the ground. She, at the start of her turn, she will have hit the ground three right. seconds before. Yep. Yeah. Wait, okay. I'll, I'll have a look at her. Okay, it's okay. It's only solid ice. Oh. <laughs> Is it the river sticks that she's splashing in, or what? No, it's ice. It's a, it's a it's a it's a snow covered mountain. It's a mountain valley. Oh. Well, she's dropping into snow covered mountain valley. How did it, so? Oh, well, never mind. Paralysis. Maybe a small recap. I'll give yeah, you one at the app. As soon as Usul's turn is done, I'll give you a quick recap, and then we'll go ahead the nearest. All right, I just there. logged in, so we're good. All right, Don. What else are you doing? You missy step. You you bonus action or whatever wild shaped into the Griffin. Yep. And I'm going to um, slow my descent, but I'm going to aim for wherever she's going to hit. So <laughs> she's going to be unconscious when she hits the ground. She's not going to be dead. Well, it's, I'm it's, gonna... it's unlikely that she's going to take the full 120, and even then, that wouldn't go yeah, farther her out, right. over than her. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. That it for Don's turn. That's it. All right. So let's give Ryan a quick recap of what he's missed so far. So. You guys went through the teleportation ring, whatever, with the ship, mountain pass. You guys were passing over a, a herd of Yeti that were chasing a woolly mammoth. And as that happened, the ship basically uh, teleported this Yeti into a little ring up here that lit up. Nero was the first one that ran up the stairs and to engage it. Did not stun it for a change. And then Do we know why it teleported to the ship or not yet? I think all off of food. We yeah, we think it's because the ship brought it up to to so that we could kill food. it so we could eat it. We think. Okay. And then the yep. Yeti grabbed Nira, threw her off the ship, and then started charging after um, Didamar, which was up here on this little platform. Then you came up, did your usual thing. You grappled it, knocked it prone. Uh, <laughs> nice. Aelin came up and did not stun it. Right? Yeah. He, yeah. He, he passed it twice. First time that's ever happened yeah, to me. Couldn't, <laughs> yeah, couldn't stun it. And then Diddy Heard jumped it, off the ship, started, got his wings, and started going after uh, Nira. And then you just saw what Don did. So I think you're caught up there. Oh, and the ship is also plummeting towards the earth as well, trying to catch <laughs> Nira. <laughs> okay. Is that good, guys? Yeah. Sounds can good. I roll? 
All right, do you want to roll the damage? You want me to, Nura? Oh, no, I want to roll it. That was Victor's turn. Huh? Wasn't that Victor's turn or no? No, 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 Victor, you already had your turn. Yeah. Okay. All right, Nera, roll me 20d6. And then I'll let you... Okay, and then roll me a percentile die. 70. Woo. So that drops me below zero. And you want me to roll a percentile? Correct. Higher the better for you. Okay. All right. So what Diddy and Usul see from this standpoint, I guess technically Vigor can as well, but he's not here. Uh, you, you see her body hit the snow, a big old poof of snow hits, and then she's gone. Now, I'm not going to say near what you hit, but you took all that damage. I'm only at minus four, guys. So even in advanced D&D rules, I'd still be alive. Okay. So Nira, give me a death save. And if Victor and if Victor had cast his uh, his temporary hit points on me, I'd actually be positive. Well, shouldn't have Victor have done it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what what did I mean? I miss it. I'm I'm getting the TV going. Oh yeah, that's terrible. Oh, um, yeah. Do I get to roll on that, or do you roll on that, Brian? For what? Oh, yeah. Shit, I forgot about lingering injuries. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, I can't remember if I've got it open for everybody to see or not. But let me... Yo, injuries. Uh, lingering injuries. Uh, I can't make it a token, so I just roll. Are you okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, lingering injury. I think this is it. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's nothing. Wow. Figures. Monk doesn't get shit. All right. So metagame wise, you you plummet through this, the first layer of snow. It's kind of hard and crusty. But then you slam into something and it shatters. And you basically went through a sheet of ice. And that's what kind of ripped up. A scar. You pick the spot. We got a scar on there's, you. A lot, a lot there's no damage. That. There's no damage mitigation from the first ten feet of snow that's no, because you down. You, it went right through that and slammed right into that oh. big thick sheet of ice. Is what did all, all right. the damage. All right. So you can decide where this scar is or how bad it is, but you got a minor scar. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeti's up and he is grappled and prone. And by the way, yet Victor, he was freaking out. We didn't see this. I think Diddy's the only one who saw it. He kind of freaked out when he first appeared here. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and let's see. He's grappled and prone. Does he have? And he's got a gnome kicking him in the face. <laughs> has disadvantage on attacks, right? Hell yes, he does. All right. Let's see. What can a yeti do? Ooh, there's no recharge on that. Nice. All right, um, Victor. It turns its Conley. gaze. It yep. turns its gaze upon you, Shrek. And its eyes kind of twinkle for blue for a second. You need to make me a con save, Victor. Con save, yeah. I'll be right back in. Let me roll it for you. Or are you good? No, I got it. Uh, con save. That's probably like your jam, isn't it? <laughs> no, I rolled bad. Today it is not. Uh, you are now paralyzed. Oh. What As does that sh- do for a? What is he? What? How did he paralyze me? Here, I'll put it back. He just looked at you. It's got a paralytic gaze, chilling gaze. Gaze. And you take eighteen how cold damage. He, how can he gaze if he's looking at my wiener? You know what I mean? He's like down there on the ground. All right, your wiener like, takes eighteen points of cold damage. If he's <laughs> if he's prone <laughs> though, if he's prone, how did he actually? Um, how, well, can he can he I, see I, Victor? I'll agree with Brian on this one. I mean, I was just trying to kind of BS a little bit, but well, if Victor's got him prone, he's like on top of him. Attacks. Yeah, yeah, he's getting right. Anyway. And Victor's not necessarily on top of him. He just has him pinned down to the ground in some way, shape, or form. But he can still use all of his attacks and abilities. Right. So I got to agree with Brian on that one. All right. So you are paralyzed. Okay. Which basically means he's no longer grappled. Restrict. Yeah. He's, you're about to get thrown off. Well, if he's paralyzed, he had his arms wrapped around him. So is he locked in paralyzed? No, he's paralyzed. He's okay, paralyzed. I see what you're saying. 
So it'd be like if I was grabbing onto your wrist, but suddenly I stopped and you just wrenched your wrist from my, or wrenched your, right. yeah, your wrist from my. Right, right. I got it. So he will stand up. <laughs> did you take off the damage, Brian, or no? I did not. I, you do your own damage. I don't do um, that. Me too. As a reaction, can I, um, can I say verse, like a resist this, the cold damage or no? Based on what? Wait a second. How close are you to Diddy? Um, do you get the plus based four? Based on like a re- absorbed I, elements I, 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 reaction, like. Uh, incoming energy lessens the effects on you. So, like resistance to cold. If resistance it, to triggering damage type. <clears throat> Was he too far away to get the plus four to the save from Diddy? Yeah, he's yeah, twenty he's feet gone. away from. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So, based just on what I'm reading there, then yeah, you got resistance to it. You can you can choose that as a reaction, right? Yep, yep. So it's just a reaction. So that's a reaction. It takes up one of my magic pool, and then I take nine damage, okay. dropping me to 85 hit points. Okay. You don't have an ability that allows you to reroll a save, do you? Um, I don't think so, unless you're trying to hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't have your sheet open anymore. I just know that, I just know that the fighter in our game does it all the time. So I think you got to be sure. level 10 in order to do that. All right. Um, and I and he's only level eight fighter. So okay, half is moving to stand up, and then he's going to do the same thing he did to <laughs> the other half to heave Victor yeah. over. He's grabbing you, and that. he's chucking you, chucking you off the. I got to move my Yeti so I can get to you, and he's chucking you off the ship. Wait, yeah. so, there's no like save versus chucking. You're paralyzed, yeah. dude. You're but paralyzed. How can he, he can use his gaze plus grab me plus stand up plus. He can gaze chucking? plus two melee attacks. Oh my god, this is a beast, man. Yeah, this is why I'm now in the dirt. In the dirt. <laughs> so let me re- 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 read paralyzed. Uh, consider I incapacitated. Stayed, I can't speak, AFK. Can't move. Automatically fell strength and dex save. Attackers of advantage attacks uh, within five feet auto crit. So you're now free falling, but I'll be at like 100 feet or less. <laughs> the ship's about to crash into the ground where Nir is. And Victor's off and paralyzed. Let me give you a little token. Oh, oh I got to help the kiddo. Okay, that's one attack. The gaze plus two attacks. So his, his last one's going to be a swipe attack at Aeolin. Okay. It's the first time he's used his Pick claws. up and throw are not separate attacks? No, because one's an object interaction to pick you up. The other one, all he has to do is no. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a grapple, right? It's gonna be just like an attack, like a grapple would be. I would say yeah. that uses one of the attacks for if, sure. Yeah, if and you, then the throw would be the other attack. If he wasn't paralyzed, um, guys, so like a grapple and shove would be two attacks. A grapple and throw would probably be two, but that's just no. I agree, Brian. Brian. He doesn't have to save in order to do it, but it still takes two actions for the. It still takes no, two actions doesn't. for the Yeti to a grab do that, and, to pick and him throw. up and, and, and throw but unless, him in the other. And hey, the, the monster manual might say something totally different, and we just go by that. No, your logic makes Make sense. sense. I mean, Grant, it's not contested, but it's one to grab him and an, another to throw. So I'll allow that. Okay, so no attack on Aelin. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll pull that back. No. Actually, you you were right. Uh, an object interaction with someone who's paralyzed is just a free object interaction. You just pick them up and throw them. So really, he, he has, a, yeah, yeah. Because no. object interaction is that you can pick up one pick thing. So he's going to grab you, and then he's just going to lob you off the side of the ship. But it would still be like part of a move action or something, right? He would only have to attack you if you can defend, and you can't because you're paralyzed. So he just uses his object interaction to pick you up. But he can only pick up one thing. You'd have to drop something else he was holding, and then. All right, I'll still say he's not going to attack because the whole use an object, I think that supersedes a multi-attack opportunity. Yeah. And also, he could go over to the side. Like if he, if he throws he him, him. No, he's he going to pick him up oh. and throw him. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll pick him up. He's throw. pissed yeah, off and scared <laughs> up in the air. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the whole ship's careening towards the earth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, uh, that's it for the idea then. And Victor. You're now falling, so Woo-hoo! let's see if you have anything on this turn before you go. Wait, I'm allowed to like do things on my turn? Oh, you're paralyzed. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, Let me just see what I got. Let me see what I got. I, can I save for myself a bonus action? You're paralyzed. You can't do shit. 
Uh, incapacitated. It's a VSM. Can't speak wait, or move. Wait, it says can't speak? Incapacitated. Can't take actions or reactions. Oh, uh, bonus actions. <laughs> <laughs> no. Doesn't say can't take bonus actions. You are falling just like Mira did. <laughs> That's a little rule of lawyer. <laughs> uh, the rule of lawyer in me argues bonus You're actions falling. aren't You're only, We were only about 70 feet up at this point. I wouldn't stress it out. Yeah, I'm just thinking, because... like, warding wind is, like, verbal. I'm l- at least to have some wind around me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to watch out. Brian might bend the rules and say, well, the ground is only five feet next to you when you hit it. So that's a oh. little crit, but it does double size. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, Alan, we saw your other buddy just get chucked off the side <laughs> of the of the, uh, of the ship as this thing stands up in front of in front of you as you guys are all <laughs> screaming towards the earth. <laughs> I am going to shadow step behind them, which gives me advantage on the first attack. And Hassan Chop. Chop. Oh, I don't think that hits. No, it does <laughs> not. Beautiful. That does not hit. Okay. And key point. Uh, flurry. No, do your second attack. What? Oh, second attack. You're right. Second attack. Uh, a 21. Actually, can I use sneak attack on my second attack, or is it only on the first attack? Why would you get sneak attack? Because I have advantage. Why do you have advantage? I, I shadow, shadow step, step to him. So I automatically have advantage. So if that's what shadow step says, then I'll allow that. Yes. I didn't know that. Okay. So first attack misses, second attack hits, is sneak attack. Oh, Damn. yay! A whole extra point. Um, so six points there. And then Burning the key point for flurry. Roll your no before you do flurry. Roll Stern, your stun. Stun. Yeah, 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 yeah. So save versus sixteen DC sixteen. Uh, I think sixteen. Yes, sixteen. Can I do it three times in a row? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so he is stunned, and now I burn that second key point for flurry, and both will be with advantage. Push him off the fucking ship. Oh. Yeah, I could do well, I don't know if I can. Wait a minute. All right. So this opens a a can of worms. This opens a can of worms. So anyone stunned can be just chucked off a ship. (laughs) Stunned and paralyzed are different. Off of a balloon. You know, just uh pick your pick your movement. All right, so he's stunned. Um actually then as a bonus yeah. action, you're not going to be able to push him off the ship, and he he uh, he can still make his dexterity saves when he's stunned anyway. Just yeah. punch so I'm I'm him. just going to make two more attacks, um, with flurry. Did he uh, just realize how much like a ticket collector this uh, this yeti looks like? He just lobbed everyone off because you guys don't have tickets. <laughs> 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 All right, and they 20. both hit, so it's sixteen total. He takes them. There, and that's on top of the other six. Yep. I already got the first one. Okay, is that I it? Gotta get that's gotta get all there. I got. Okay. Movement, attack, and bonus. Okay, stunt, incapacitated, can't move, can barely speak, fell strength, and deck saves. Attackers have advantage. Okay. All right. He is stunned until the end of my next turn. Which will be when you guys are all on the earth, crashing into the Right. Crashing into it. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> So this is for Rand. So I've got Vigor in the turn order, basically, so you guys can collectively decide how Vigor controls the ship. Vigor needs to stop the descent. Is that a collective decision by all? Don't crash. Yeah. 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 Don't crash. Yeah, Vigor, Vigor needs to pull up and... Realistically speaking, Vigor wouldn't... Realistically speaking, Vigor would never sacrifice himself for anybody else that's on this ship anyway. So. <laughs> I know Very it. true. He'd pull so it, true. He'd pull it up on his own. <laughs> he he right. might land the ship. On he might do a barrel roll to knock us all off, but you know, he might exactly. teleport to another planet dimension <laughs> where he's going to start a small family. <laughs> that is still a, yeah. <laughs> all right, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, this ship is plummeting to the Earth. I mean, it's basically falling. So this is going to be a very tough thing to pull this up to mitigate the damage. Mm. I'm saying he's going to hit. He's going to hit. Just how hard he's going to hit. So he's going to make an Arcana check. I, I, I don't understand how this happened in the first place. That he just decided to throw it straight down. Because again, vigor, vigor would steer it down to try to 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 
to try to get closer to the earth, but vigor wouldn't have put it on a collision course with the ground. Yeah, I can't imagine him doing that. Okay, I, that's I was, I was trying to get clarification when we first did it, so my fault. But I didn't really get clear understanding from you guys. If he was heading for try to save Nira or not, he would have to like basically plummet to the earth to try to catch her. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, he he would he would have known totally how close go on he, his own. He would have known how close he was to the ground, and he would have steered it sharply to go in a different direction. But he would not have put it on a collision course with the ground. Okay. He never He'd be would going back to Mordecai, for Mordecai for his uh, ship reward or yeah, whatever. Yeah, exactly. He's like, oh, good. Yeah, less he, less, less mouth to feed. <laughs> God. He, he would only mourn the loss of the body to feed the ship. Andy, I hope when you're watching this, you understand that Rand said that, not Brian. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, Rand said it? Of course I said it. Anthony, I mean, you know, it, it. it is because yeah. of his consistency when, that I find When him. he watches this, he will be nodding in agreement with what Rand just said. <laughs> All right, he so will. He's still got to make Arcana check to control the ship. He's going to get it at advantage. All right. Okay. And then you guys, he's got a plus 12 to his Arcana. So, yeah. All right. All he's right. It. He's kind of turns at the last second and the bottom of it just kind of shh through the top layer of snow. You guys see there's a little little crater where, where Nero went through, and Diddy's falling right behind it. And that's it for the ship. So it's now going straight. Are you guys making him keep going, or you want him to kind of stop at some point? Collectively. Uh, no, I think that he would. Uh, I think that he would. He would. He would hover, and he would stop, and uh, and then. The crew, you guys would force him to sort of let's go see if Nera's alive still. Right. No, I, that's I agree 100 percent there. Okay. So I'll say he gets the ship to stop probably about on a next turn, like a good 80 feet beyond where the crater is, where where Nera is. You guys cool with that? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yep. All right, Diddy, you are flying down, looking at Nera as she disappears into the snow, and you hear a crunch. <laughs> Sorry. What's Diddy doing? <laughs> I got Diddy another death save in a couple seconds. You know, so he just sort of like comes to uh, a pretty quick stop. He'll sort of swoop and then land down and pick up his friend. Uh, you got to dig for her. She's under the snow somewhere. Oh. You don't see okay. her. Uh, how far away are the monsters that are coming towards us? Uh, I think I said last time they were roughly about 60, 80 feet behind you guys. Give, oh. me, a quick, give me a quick perception <laughs> okay. check, Diddy. Okay, still right. still perception. blowing snow. And plus the ship just made a close by. There's too much snow blowing yep. around. You can't really see them where they are. Okay. All right. Um, so I will dig down into the snow. Okay. That's going to be your full action to, to do that. Yeah. Oh, is it like, is it a really hard? Uh, so how hard does it seem to be? To I'm find? in a hole. The top layer of the snow is crusty. I'd say it's like six inches of really crusty snow that you got to kind of break through. Once you get through that, it's soft for as far as you can yep. see. Yeah. So the idea is that I just want to get down to to um, Nira um, with my action, and then um, once I grab hold of her, hold on, hold on, hold on. You... It's your full action to dig, mm -hmm. and you don't reach her with one full action. Oh. Then She's I'll just further hide down myself than that. under the snow. Yeah, that's okay. I'm just hiding, so I'm putting the snow over me. So <laughs> Yeah, as you dig, <laughs> you, are, you are completely submerged below that crusty layer. You're down underneath that now, but you still haven't reached yeah. Nira. No, that's okay. I just don't want to be visible to the five other yetis coming. <laughs> well, you're under the surface, the crusty surface of the snow. And yep, no so that's what you see. You see, he yep. kind of swoop down to a stop, and then you see him kind of reach down and probably smash the crusty layer. Then he just poof, just disappears underneath it. Okay. Uh, yep. All right. Oh, as a bonus action, I'll, oh, um, oh, sorry. I'll turn on my belt. You know, uh, so the, the the belt that. Oh, do I have that on? The yeah, belt so that'll matter. If I take damage, it'll give. I'll I'll point it towards Vera. That if I take damage. Um, Vera gets the hit points back. That's okay. That Doesn't say anything about whether the person has to be conscious, right? 
Oh, I don't know. Check. Wait. Well, you check that, and then we'll go on to Usul's turn. Oh, Brian. Yep. <laughs> I never got to roll a con save at the end of my turn. For It's not the end of your turn yet. He just well, checked you it off. Was. I went after the Yeti last time. The end of your next turn. Yeah, the end of your next turn. Mm-hmm. Which means you hit the ground. And then you make your save, just like Nero did. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's no point in making oh. a save after you hit the ground. <laughs> no, but like, so I, I, I saved, failed, but then I was right after the Yeti. I should have been able to make it while in the air or whatever. But that's okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, right. I'm after the Yeti. So at the end of my turn, end of each of its turns, um, ending in the effect on its success, but not a big deal. Yeah, you're saying the Yeti... The Yeti paralyzed you, threw you over. Then it was your turn oh. at the end of your and turn. You should have been okay. able to. Yeah, now I see your sense. So, yeah, go ahead. Make con save. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You fall even more unconscious. Glad, <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> that the providence of God <laughs> has interceded in, in that. The rules that. lawyer is overruled. Have <laughs> 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 you ever seen those MMA fights where someone gets spoken? <laughs> I just imagine those MMA fights where someone gets knocked out so hard, like they're all their muscles kind of tense up, and their eyes are like have that ten thousand yard stare. That's Victor falling to the ground right now. Yeah, yeah. Let's put it this way: your shoes came off of it. <laughs> I, I love that I'm the rules lawyer. I, I do because I, it's awesome. I think it's fantastic. I'm cool. If you didn't piss me off, you're good, man. <laughs> all right, back to Usul. Usul, what are you doing? All right. Okay. I am going to, uh, since I, I watched Diddy Meyer go in and how he kind of stopped and then broke through the surface, I'm just going to kind of fall through it and try to get a little bit further down in. So I also want slowing to, down as you hit the earth is what you're saying. I am slowing down, <laughs> but, n- <laughs> but I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it at a little bit of speed so I could just break through. You know, when I saw Diddy Meyer, Diddy, uh, go through it, I, I'm going to just try to go right through it as well. You're basically doing a cannonball yes. through the, uh, the top layer of ice is what you're saying. Cannonball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm also going to, uh, diving as well. <laughs> I'm also going to, uh, <clears throat> take a look at, uh, around and see if I could see, uh, where those, uh, other Yetis were, are. Uh, I, if you're trying to break through the ice as you fall and look at the same time, it, it's one or the other. You can't do both. Oh, I, I can't do it on my way down. I can't look. Well, you can look, but then I'm going to make you roll for something to see if you, like, break your neck as you're trying to not look where you're landing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll just make sure and get through the uh, ice then. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm getting hurt. Okay. All right. So you, you drop, you plummet, you slow down a little bit, but you're able to break through, and you get maybe about halfway into the snow. So your top half is above the ice layer. Rest of you is below it. Okay. Now I'll continue to dig in um, to uh, hide myself as well. Okay. Give me a, I don't remember the, give me a percentile dice. Let's do it that way. But how I want to roll uh, this. D100? Yep. D100. Okay. As you start to kind of maneuver and try to dig in there, you see like yourself, you're wedged into the ice right there. It's going to take your full action just to kind of break the ice around your midsection so you can get down underneath. Yeah, okay. That's dang right. <laughs> if you'd gone fast, you'd have gone right through it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you slowed down. You might even struck oh, well. to death. <laughs> okay. That's it for Rasul's turn. Uh, Nira, another death save. Yes. There you go. <laughs> All right. So, Yeti dude. Uh, oh, shit. At this point. Oh, yeah. The ship stopped. I should have made everybody do deck saves. Um, I didn't. So, screw it. Okay. I'm not going to make the Yeti dude either. He's going to turn around and start whooping up on. Actually. He's not going to do it. He's stunned. He's stunned. Ah, you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the little birdies flying around his head. So was he stunned before the ship made his big stop? Yes. yes. Yes, he was. All right. So then he's going to kind he of. He would have failed his deck save. <laughs> Come over here and he's going to take some. Rolled right off the over the side. The bludgeoning oh. damage. Roll me a percentile die. See if he rolls off the. Off the uh, Edwin, roll me a percentile die. 50 or higher, right. he, roll, he rolls off the ship. But he did take some damage. 
He's off the ship. Okay, so let me give him his damage that he just took from whacking against everything on the deck. And then he falls off. <laughs> and you lose vision of him. Okay, that's it for his turn. Oh, he gets to make a save at the end of his turn, right? They break out the stun. Is that how that works? Nope, it's at the end no, of Alan's end of my turn. turn. Ah, you sons of bitches. <laughs> All right, Victor. Uh, where's Victor at? Oh, yeah, Victor, you hit the... Community. Oh, yeah! <laughs> but first, you hit the ground. End of my turn, Brian. You hit the ground first. Okay, cool. So, Romy, t- uh, you are halfway, roughly, 10d6. Uh, you want to roll it or you want me to? Well, I would. You do I would, it, man. I, I, I would say that him. he was. I would say that he was about seventy feet up. If the math works out from where everybody's no, turns were to make him hundred. Make him hundred, Brian. He was more than halfway down. <laughs> but all right, if Victor's like, here's a hundred. I'll let him do a hundred. <laughs> do it. No, Brian, you do it. Ten. D- oh, you want me to do it? Ten d six. Do it. Ten d six. Crap! It doesn't go up to six on the auto roller thing. So <laughs> yeah, I had to auto. slash roll mine. Ten d six. Oh, look how shitty that was. Oh, that was that was a little more than average. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I call it shitty. Bad. And you <laughs> hit the ice. You're paralyzed, right? You no, I'm no longer paralyzed. You break, break through out. and see how did I do it with? I go back. How did I do it with you? You had, you had me roll a, a percentile. I'm gonna Let's look roll. up and watch the yeti fall. Okay, roll me a percentile die. Oh, for what? To see how you. deep you go into the snow. Oh, roll one d one hundred. All right, so twenty two inches, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's what d one hundred means. <laughs> <laughs> two feet, wow. just up to the calves, Brian. Well, that's the same roll that a soul just rolled for hit to see how deep he got to. Go. Yeah. You take uh, four, you I take four points of bludgeoning damage as the, the upper layer just cracks you across the face. And you guys see Victor's feet sticking up out from the, <laughs> the top of the snow. You're like Sonny Bono. I and then you do your me. con save and you, you awake. You know, you're just a bunch of white in front of your face, frozen. You can feel the wind kind of blowing on your feet, your toes, because your shoes came off, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he knows I what happened. Need shoe. I need Paralyzed. new shoes anyway. <laughs> All right, so that was at the end of your turn to con save, so now we're up to Aolin again. Aolin, what are you doing? All right, so I will, let's see, how far is that? Oh, easily, okay. So I will do here, get to the railing, look over, see how far down the uh, Yeti is, is he still basically directly below me? I'll say if you're on the top deck, you're roughly 15, 16 feet to the uh, snow surface where he's laying. Half Have we buried. stopped moving yet? Has the ship stopped? Yeah, the ship stopped. Yeah. Okay. So. No, I said it was going to stop on your neck, on its next turn, right? On Vigor's next turn. So it's still moving right now, but it is slowing down. So if I was to say jump with the intention of coming down on it with a kick, um, what would you want for a roll? I would need an acrobatics to see if you can land where you want to land All right. without falling over. <laughs> yeah, you land anywhere you want. <laughs> I'm basically, I'm, I, I, I hop over the railing in the classic anime Japanese you know, martial artist kick pose and just want to drive my foot through its chest. <laughs> I'll let you make this attack with advantage. All right. Since that sounds cool. This is like, you son of a bitch! About as cool as the top half of a stone gargoyle sticking out of the, out of the snow and two feet dangling with no shoes on. Oh, 15. Is that good? <laughs> oh, look at that. And uh, it- you get advantage on that and that's a glancing blow. <laughs> Oh. Oh, you were so impressed with landing right on its belly. Like oh, you my stunned, so I can still do sneak attack, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I'll, I'll take the ruling. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. There's no All right. Sneak attack. So there's 12 there, points. Wait, that's oh, you, you, got a, you got a level in rogue? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shit, I didn't know that. He well, started I, out as rogue and then 
got you know I'll read his bio it's actually i i put some work into it um and I'll then i'll burn you. my last key point and <laughs> just stomp on his face dude you put a shitload of work into it what are you talking about i put a little work into oh it. okay so that's 11 plus 7 plus 8 11 plus 15 so that's 26 total points Maybe yeah, stomp him in the face a couple of times and just yeah. stand there still stunned. <laughs> oh, a couple of cracks shit. to his face. Is yeah, you stunning? can re stun him though. I, I couldn't, I don't have any more keys. But left. you can on the you, oh, okay, no key. Okay, so it makes a save, another save at the end of your turn, or it's just stunned until the end no, of your turn. It's just stunned until it's, the end. He okay. recovers at that now, okay. actually, for his turn, he'll be available. Sorry, right, he can't throw you off the snow. You'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to slam you into the snow. <laughs> All right, uh, Vigor, do you guys collectively want to have him do anything different with the ship? No. No, he's just uh, continuing to stop it, I think. Yeah, at this point, the ship has now come to a stop. Okay. I think that he feels obliged to, like, go tear some face. And he's going to send AS as well. No, nope, I'm not sending anybody else for the conflict. <laughs> You guys are doing fine. Did he? No, and I, yeah. Yeah. What? Well, go ahead and say it, Robert. What? No, I was going to say, in real life, Vigor wouldn't lose his connection with the ship anyway. He would stay where he is. Right. Tapping oh, tapping the foot and wondering what was taking us so long. Yeah, you play that probably better than I would. All right, Diddy. What you doing? Did we Massage. lose Diddy? There is no Diddy. Oh, I'm getting a massage, Brian. Well, I see him in Discord. Yeah, I see him too, but he's not talking. No. All right, three, two, one. No, I'm, I'm we, assuming he's going to keep digging for yeah. Nira. So it's his full action, and at this point I'll say he can, following the well, path that Nira took. He's got his movement. How much of his movement would t is taken up? It's That's what I'm going to say. It's his full action to reach you. So he still has a bonus action once he reaches you. And I don't know if any of his shit to heal is lay on hands. Is that even a bonus action or an action? I go pull up a sheet and look. I don't know, but I figured that he would use his movement to dig back to big dig farther. Is he, if he's more than 15 feet away from me, then he would have to use some of his actual action to do that. He's digging towards you. Uh, I'm just saying he's got his move and his action. Does he need to use both in order to get to me? You rolled a 70 on your, your... I did. I rolled a 66, yeah. I'll roll with his, with his, with his movement. He can reach you. So he okay. still has an action. So is lay on hands an action or a bonus action? Uh, action, I think. As an action, you can touch a creature and draw power, blah, blah. Okay, how many points did he have left, though? Does he keep track of that on here? He only here. needs to give me one. One. He's got five. One. He only needs to give me one. <laughs> All right, so I'll reduce him by one, and he does lay on hands onto Nira, and you get one hit point back, Nira. All right. I'll move I hate right it when, when Paladins burn 40 damn hit points on a lay I know, on hands. I agree. That's it not bothers really the shit point. out of me. It's like 40. That's a, that's 40 resurrects right there. All right, so unless Diddy's <laughs> listening, when he comes back, I'm going to ask him how many he would spend. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I will yell in very quickly. One. Nobody direct message him real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's his turn. He's reaching there. He's kind of gave you your, your healing. He's trying to help you dig out at this point. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Usul. Usul. Same, same location, doing the same thing. Trying to break through? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'll I assist uh, them helping Nira get out. Okay. They're both below the surface of the snow. You're not sure exactly where they are. Oh, okay. Are you digging well, towards the spot where where uh, Nira went in? Uh, no, maybe I'll just I'll just come back up. Okay, climb back I'll, on top I'll of just, the ice? Yeah. Okay, and attack I'll your just, movement uh, to get on top of the ice. Okay. And I'll just, um, I'll kind of, since I'm gargoyle, I'm just going to kind of curl up and, uh, um, pretend like I'm a rock. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> so a very deceptive Don, are you gargoyle. Something? What's going on? Your voice is all weird, man. Whose voice? I don't, mine. Yeah, your voice is different, dude. Well, that sounds. Oh, good, I don't right? know. Are you sick? No, no, I'm oh. great. All right. Yeah. All right. So gargoyle right. is just sitting there trying to pretend pretend to be a rock, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm me. using a different headset. That's the only thing different. Uh, cool. say. Give me a deception yeah. roll. A deception. Ooh. Well, what would that be for a gargoyle? Uh, deception is charisma based. Oh. Well, uh, f- while the gargoyle remains motionless, <laughs> it is indistinguishable <laughs> from an inan- inanimate statue. Right, but you're trying to be a rock. You said okay. <laughs> Well, I, yep. I'm well, just you meant stone statue. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm I'm just I've when got my wings wrapped around me to so rock. you know, he is a rock. I mean, if you just want to be he a statue, that, that's cool. But I, I thought you were trying to like disguise yourself as just a typical rock out in the middle of a valley, <laughs> which you are not a rock. <laughs> okay. okay, that was the idea, though. I was trying to trying to uh, you know, if, if seen a distance, I might be able to. Pull it off. Yep. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Nope. That's all I got. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to view, watch the area and see what's going on. Okay. Half your movement to stand uh-huh. up. I'll, I'll allow you to make a perception roll if you want. Okay. Brian, we need an ice capades map. <laughs> I know it. You got one, dude. You got the one with the falling ice. Oh, I do. Yeah, but everybody's already here now. It's going to take me too long to get everybody figured out. So, All right. Uh, through the blowing snow, uh, you can see the herd of wherever they were, but they all seem to be clustered in one little spot and not moving. Okay. Okay. And they're probably about 100, yeah. maybe 120 feet behind the ship. And can I hear them? No. All you or hear just is see the, them? The, like, all you can do is hear the, the snowing wind and... <clears throat> To the, Even to better. The valley. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Nira, you're now awake, have a scar somewhere, and you see Diddy down the snow with you in a little pocket. All, All right, right there, buddy. So, uh, <laughs> that's nice. Um, I would like to uh, climb up to the surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. So in order to do that, um, I am prone. I land prone. So I'm at half. I'm at half. Uh, half my speed to get up. Mm-hmm. Uh, how hard is it? How hard is it to terrain to go the other seventy feet? Uh, all right. So my other thirty feet is my other thirty feet of movement that I have left over is going to get me fifteen feet. Um, I'm gathering that you're not going to allow me to use my climb vertical surfaces. No, nah, because it's like light snow. So no. Uh, all right, so I'm going to. Uh, uh, all right, so I'm going to move 50 feet up. Uh, sorry, 15 feet up, using half my movement, and then I'm going to shadow step to the surface. Okay, I'll allow that. So you're now up top. I guess I need to start putting a number up here so I can keep track of where everybody is. So Diddy is roughly, I'll say, 65 feet. He was right above you. Wow, that's tiny text. I need to make that a little bigger so I can see it with my old eyes. You, uh, at 66% zoom, you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> I got to see the whole map, though. All right, uh, Yeti's up next. All right, screw it. Uh, so I have a turn still. Oh, sorry. Um, so I've used, my, I've used my movement, and I've used my bonus action, and now I'm up on the surface, and okay. I would like to... Um, have a look around. What do I see? Uh, the ship is, I'll, I'll say it's probably about, uh, 40 feet further along than you are, but the relative position between you and where Aeolin and the Yeti is, is, is accurate. I'll say, and you see okay. Victor's leg sticking out. That's relative as well. Uh, all right. So do we I see am... each other? Sorry. Well, you see uh, a stone gargoyle <laughs> s- somehow sitting right on top of the uh, the top layer of ice in this valley. 
All right. So then what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to use, oh no, I can't, I think I as my bonus action yeah so i have no more movement that i can do well i could i could run towards him and then stand there and wave my private parts at him but uh, i'm not because <laughs> the last time i did that he yelled at me and called me names on my way down um, so i'm going to use my action actually to do a uh, quickened healing on myself okay and so that quickened healing is right there So I heal myself for five more. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. Remind me, Yeti is stunned. No, he's not stunned because it was uh, at the end of Aelin's turn, right? No longer stunned. Correct. Okay. So he is disoriented though because he uh, is prone. He's got a gnome dancing on his chest. Half his movement to stand up. Uh, he's going to see this little gnome crawling all over him. Maybe do a contact. Who's been beating the oh. crap out of him? <laughs> nope, he's too stupid to run. I just rolled for him freaking five. And all his attacks are going to be at this little gnome dude. Bring it on, man. Yeah. Bring it on. Uh, he I looks. Actually, what is, he I gazes longingly at this, uh, this little bitty creature that's been beating the shit out of him. Give me a con save. Hold on one second. I just wanted to check something. It's an 18. Uh, I am tiny. Does that give me? No, I, I was wondering if, uh, because of my size, I had any kind of advantage for dodging, etc., against a large creature. Uh, so you need a con save, one Correct. con save coming up, and blam! Oh yeah. man! You! you can feel your muscles I'm start tight for a second. Gnome. <laughs> and it looks at you. It looks back towards in the distance, and it's going and to. <laughs> Run so make an run, <laughs> make a uh, opportunity attack, attack if you want. Of opportunity. Yep. Seventeen. That hits him. Whack! Too bad you can't stun him. I know. All right, so let me double. I started with here. only five key out of the my eleven total, so it was uh. All right, meta game wise, he goes forty feet on top of the snow. That's fine. I have a speed of forty five, so. And there's the ice. Do you have something where slick services don't impose if it's not, on you? If it's not bright light, I can I can um, shadow step. Yeah, it's dim light everywhere. 60. Yeah, right. so if it's dim light, I can shadow step 60. So I can keep right up with him okay. if I wanted to. All right, that's his turn. Oh. The ship must eat. Get uh, back here. A free action. <laughs> he is going to roar in that general direction. Where He's calling for help. Quick, get the foodstuffs aboard. <laughs> okay, Victor. You must feed the ship. You're no longer paralyzed, but you are, you know, up to your ankles, head first, in uh, snow and ice. Hmm. I'll tell you what Victor will not be having is a crab-flavored seafood made from surimi, a fully cooked fish protein. <laughs> Not a fish protein. <laughs> that is really that damn is. gross. I got two of them thinking that it might be a good bet, but it was not a good bet. Fish, <laughs> generic I, fish I, protein. I, so here's the thing. I really like cheese sticks. And I was like, this is like a fish stick? <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Like, like you just open it up and eat it like a cheese stick. And no, it it is gross. All right. So. Um, Victor, is he like buried under the ice, Brian? What do I got to do? Yeah, you are like, uh, like I said, you went head first into it. Your feet are sticking up out of the snow and that's it. So it's going to be like either half your movement to turn yourself upright or you can start basically digging your way down. I mean, it's up to you what you want to do at this point. Uh, you think I should journey to the center of the earth through the ice? If you wanted to, you could be no, gonna, you know, looking for some I, more I cheese, think... uh, seafood snackers. If if my uh, if my feet feel like they're exposed, then I'm gonna try to like uh, tilt my body in such a way to where I burrow to where my feet are. Okay, well, it's half your movement to turn yourself up, right? But yeah, now I like your I'll say your head and just the, the very edge of your shoulders are now sticking out through the ice. All right, how do I get up? 
uh, get difficult to terrain to get on top of it. So I'll say it's the other half of your movement to get on top. Okay. Do I see any enemies nearby? Uh, the ship is kind of blocking your view to anything over here. So you would not see Aeolin or the Yeti. Um, I'll rule oh, the... some on the other side. Right. So the way the ship is, uh, and you are basically right about here. So no, you can't see anybody. Do I see any Yetis at all? Uh, boy, you're right. On. Give me a perception check. It's gonna be pretty high DC. Something tells me that pretty high DC and uh, eleven don't mix. No. The answer's gonna be no. no. You can't see anything beyond the blowing snow and the ship. It's now right next to you. Okay. Um, I think. Uh, I think I'm going to cast, uh, you know what? No, I'm done. And for some city purpose, Usul, I'm going to move you right here. Yeah, I was thinking the same. Okay. All right, so Victor, you're going to just stay put, not shout anything, anything else? Uh, so I'm out of move. Uh, well, I guess I could use my action to move now that I'm out, right? Can I climb back on the ship or is it too big? Or no, you don't what, have movement left, height? but you have an action left. Right. So I'll just use my action to kind of dash. More or less. Do you have as an action surge? No, you already used that because uh, Nir used that earlier. No, no, you said I have I have no movement, but I have an action, right? Right. So you can't use your action to move because you've used your full movement. Unless you want to dash, is what dash. you're saying. Okay, yeah, dash. Yeah. Okay, I, I missed yeah. that part. I apologize. Yeah. So you use right. dash. That's fine. Um, is the ship really tall or something right here? Or can I clamber on it? Well, if you look at the map. I see it. It's like three stories or something. You'd have to give me some kind of athletics or something to see if you can start scaling the side of it. Oh, yeah. I can do that. Arf. Okay, I'll say you can climb. Well, you're basically, you're right, right here where I'm pinging on the side of the ship. And you can get up to this little spot right here. It's, there's not really a window there like there is on this uh, 3D model. So... Let me move you to where I approximately think you are, right about there in the crevice. No, <laughs> on the side of the ship is where you are. <laughs> I know, but I was – wait, wait, stop. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just putting myself on the little ship. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that makes sense. <laughs> All right. All right, Aylin. And I know once I get over on this side over here, then I'll be over here. Yeah, right. All right. <laughs> All right, Alum, you get he's running away from me. What are you doing? Uh, a shadow step behind him. Boom, advantage on our strike. Hmm. 17. That hits him. For five. With sneak attack. Another one. So six <laughs> whole points. I'm just going to whittle him down. He runs. I, I pop behind him and rinse and repeat. So let me see your strikes if you're hitting him again. No, I can't. I don't have any key points oh, left. Okay. You have two so attacks no, no in a clear. round. Oh, duh. You're right. You, you, you get, you get three. All right, I shouldn't have had the second set. No, no, no. He only, gets a, he only gets the third one if he uses a key. Right, no. so I only took one attack. Dude, you can always take a bonus action, right, without a key. 24 plus. He oh, but he's bonus step. action for shadow step. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, that hits. And so <laughs> if I get if I get uh, sneak attack on the <laughs> I don't do a lot of damage. If you Sorry, knew I'll, I'll... what it sounded like for a Yeti to cry, that's what he'd be doing right now. <laughs> Sorry, <I'll come. laughs> this little right. thing is kicking his ass. <laughs> All right, I'll come finish him off, Alan, on my. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I can get there. All right, collectively, anybody do anything as uh, as vigor for the ship? Throw well, my friends off the ship, you son of a bitch. <laughs> He's taking Maybe, out all the frustrations um, on this yeti. Would vigor would vigor open up a open up a door to let us in somewhere? Uh, uh, guys, there has not been a door that opens. On well, this we wouldn't know about it because we haven't seen it. But vigor, psychologically connected with it, might know if there is. Yep, I'm telling you, metagame wise, there's not a door that allows you in. Okay, so everybody gets teleported to yeti to the yeti spot. <laughs> Okay, Diddy, are you back? I am. Okay, quick question for you. 
you made it down to Nira. <laughs> what? Then, uh. Assuming nobody DM'd you already, she was unconscious, yeah. and I, I ruled yeah. that you uh, you did lay hand on hands on her, but I did not say how many points you had put into her. You had five points left. Uh, I'll I'll actually give her. Um, I've only got five hit points left of, of lay on hands, so I'll give her three. Okay. All right. So just take two more off of your points. I took one off. Let's take yeah. two more. All right. I'll add two more. <laughs> I was like, hey! All right, so she's uh, like you, you've healed her, and she's basically teleported or shadow stepped her way to the top of the snow, and you're about sixty feet down in the snow right now. Oh wow! Okay, all right. So I will difficult to uh, terrain to... to get through that to climb your way back up. Uh, okay. But you did all have right, your wings so out, I... didn't you? I do. So I'll sort of like fly out and just use my dash to get to the top. It's still gonna be difficult to terrain, but I'll allow you to fly out. Mm-hmm. So difficult terrain for your fly speed. I guess what it gets you at thirty feet then. Yep. Okay. You're kind of swimming through the snow more than you are flying. And can we hear those Yetis approaching nearby? No, they they stopped. Did he? Uh, they're about a hundred feet away, and they're not moving. We assume they've caught the but, mammoth. But near you didn't see that, right? Uh, Who was no, that was out of that? that was out of game. Me telling. Okay. That was a soul that saw that. Okay, yeah. Cool. You're not even above the snow yet, Diddy, so you can't see them. <laughs> even try to do a perception yeah. check. No, that's okay. But now I can. Uh, I need to be able to see Nira. So is, can I see Nira? Nira, would you have here? stayed next to the hole or did you move away from it? I forget. I didn't get the opportunity. I okay. was at the top. Okay, so so my, okay. I'm, I'm sort of standing there. If there's a if there's light that can be seen, he can see my shadow like I'm the seal floating above the, dark, the great white shark. Yeah, it's all dim light through here. Oh. Okay, well, if I can see, I'll do that. I'll use one of the charges and focus on her when I get too close to the top. Sorry, I'm reading it. Hold on. There's a bonus action. Wait, you got to beat the shit out of yourself next round? <laughs> uh, well, just in case there are yetis there, it's going to heal you while I get, or heal Nira as I get backed up. Yeah. It's like that. <laughs> okay, all right. Just keep that in mind. Okay, yep. Usul, you saw what you saw, and you see Aelin chasing down this big yeti and beating the shit out of it. Okay, and I can see uh, Diddy and Nira coming out of the snow, correct? You see Nira coming out. Diddy's still okay. under the snow. And Nira does not know me, correct? That I could transform? I. You guys got to tell me. I don't know if Nira's ever seen you transform. Not into specifically a gargoyle, but I've seen you transform. Into a, a creature of the darkness. Yeah. yeah okay. So, so let's do it this way. Nira, give me a wisdom check with advantage. DC 10. Okay. Yeah, you're pretty sure that's probably Usul. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to uh, fly up... Um, like towards the deck of the ship and uh, and point at Nera and with one one hand and then point <laughs> at uh, where those other yetis are at with the other. Okay. Are you trying to get someone's attention or who are you just pointing for yourself? <laughs> no, I I was trying to point I was trying to get it Nera's attention to look in that direction where okay. those uh, yetis are at. Okay. All right. All right. So I'll, I'm not going to make it near a roll perception check because you would have seen the gargoyle fly up. So you can see him kind of pointing back the other direction to where um, from this fan. Uh, I said you couldn't see anything, right? Nira? Me? No, Nira. Uh, no, I don't okay. think you said that because I'm up on the surface. Yep. All right. So anything else, Rasul? Nope. Uh, I'm just going to fly up there kind of above the deck. Okay. So you're hovering above it or you're landing on the deck? Hovering. Okay. All right. Okay, Holy Nira. Crap. All right, I'm um, Nira's a little bit super fly pissed at this uh, <laughs> at this at this dude. Um, so Nira has uh, unarmored movement, which um, allows her to run on water. So I don't see why uh, a snow surface should cause her any real issues. Yeah, I think I've allowed that before in the past with monks that run yeah. across ice. So I'm okay with that. So uh, Nira is going to uh, pull an Aeolin and run her 60 feet, which is here. 
And then she's going to use her um, shadow step ability to shadow step in behind this fucker. Uh, not quite that close because she's got a whip. Uh, and then she is going to uh, whip this son of a bitch. And that misses. That's a glancing blow, as I recall. Oh, it yeah. is. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh. this falls. His head kind of crush crashes through the top layer of crusty ice, and the rest of it's kind of sticking up in the air. Dead. Uh, and I'm gonna whip. I'm gonna whip it again just because it made me angry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I didn't roll that advantage because it's incapacitated, but it hit anyway. So it doesn't you matter. slice off three of his toes. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm also going to add another killing blow to my little, uh, oh. my little talisman. Yep. Oh yeah, we got both you and Diddy here, so we'll have to. Yeah, we'll, sure we, we'll keep we can discuss it. Screw it away. Okay. Uh, so I've done that. I've added that, and um, uh, yeah, uh, that's all I've got. I had two attacks and my bonus action, but I've used that and I've used my movement. And so I am done. Okay. So we are out of combat because that guy is dead. Uh, you can give me a perception check if you want at this point, Nira, to see if you see what, uh, Usul saw. That's an 11. So I'm assuming I did not see. I don't even see that in the. I'm probably I'm probably lagging. I rolled an eleven. Okay, so now you can't quite see anything up there. There's too much blowing snow and wind. But you did see, you know, the gargoyle pointing in that direction. Yep. And, and just in case we get past this area, um, I do fly down and grab the yeti and and feed the ship. What's the strength yeah, on the gargoyle? That's it. Uh, strength on a gargoyle is, uh, right at turn over. Cause he's, yet yeah, he's a pretty freaking heavy. No, man, what is your strength score? Uh, 15. Your strength score is 15 or you roll to 15? No, no, he's, he has a strength of 15. Oh, then no, he can't pick up that Yeti. Not by yourself. You can't. Okay. Okay. So what else, what's the rest hey, of you guys doing? Question. Big, go ahead. Um, where we are on the ground, where even with the, the keel of the ship, isn't there a hole in the ship here, or was it repaired? There's uh, a hole in the log. And, what is the back side? <laughs> right fly here, in isn't the, it? Fly in a hole in the... It's, uh, the, 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 you're right, it is. Log in the bottom of the sea. Okay. So... Nira and I might no, no, be no, there's not a hole because you guys mended that on your way here. Oh, it was hole. mended. Yeah, okay. you guys are mending all those holes. Those aren't there anymore. Sorry, I forgot about so, that. So Aeolin, Aeolin, you and I can run up the side of the ship. Yeah, I have spider I have spider boots, so I can just we don't you don't even need spider boots because you can Why run do you up have spider the... boots given to Victor, man? He can run up side of the ships. Well, well this... no, the spider boots let him stop halfway up. Right. Oh, I can start. Stop. Well, let me help spider. you guys out. AS and Didamar, AS and not Didamar, Vona will come up to the deck and they'll both be dropping ropes. So, any guys, to come on and get on board. All right. Victor's up, right, Brian? He would have come yeah. up the next round. Yep, correct. Victor's up there as well. Right. So, okay. we're out of combat. Great. Unless you guys are doing something else while you're on the snow, I'll assume you guys all get up within the next two or three rounds. Um, can, can Victor play like a, a winning battle tune of some sorts? <laughs> Yeah, please do. I want some. I want some temporary hit points. Never Play that song. Me. Where did my shoes go? I don't know. Because you are <laughs> you barefoot. You sing right "Hole now. in the Log." You sing "Hole in the Log," and I get twelve. Oh, hit there's points. a bump on the hole in the log in the bottom of the sea. <laughs> there's a bump oh, on the hole in the log in the bottom God. of the sea. Ooh, I just got twelve. Ooh, oh, there's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole okay. in the bottom of the sea. Wait a minute. I think oh, it's more than twelve. It's uh, it's twelve plus two, so fourteen. Okay. It'll take you guys, if you guys choose to, well, no one said it, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to suggest it. Okay, so everyone's getting on board the ship, right? Well, I, I want to get this Yeti on board the ship to feed the ship. Okay. Hey, we've killed the damn thing. We it's gonna say with, it to with the ropes and the team, it'll probably take you several rounds, but yeah, you can get the Yeti up on the deck with you guys. Excellent. Okay. And I'm assuming at that point, you guys are going to instruct Vigor to 
Heave ho. Ho oh, heave. Yep. Yeah. Get us, get us, uh, get us up. I want to fly over like some really pretty gals down below. <laughs> and I'd like to figure <laughs> to the I'd like, I'd like figure to have a conversation with the ship about uh, just randomly teleporting um, creatures uh, <laughs> onto the deck. Okay. Yeah. What's it doing? All right. So I gotta role play this like vigor. So how would vigor answer this? Uh... Just go chaotic neutral. Full chaotic neutral. He's like I. I, I I really don't know. I, I sensed something was happening, but I don't I don't know what it was. But I'll figure it out. And he puts his other hand onto the gym pedestal. Let's go. And the sh- the ship takes off. All right. So metagame wise, I'll share with Anthony what he may have interpreted from that, and I'll let him decide whether or not he shares with you guys because I don't want to give anything away if I'm not hundred percent sure how he would react. Okay. Okay. All right, so you guys taking the Yeti down below with the, the 13 other dead things you've killed thus, thus far? Oh, yeah. Do it. All right, so I'll go ahead and move him down there. And the Victor tentacles. Will drag him down and then go back up. The tentacles will start to kind of come out of the pods if anyone's watching and start kind of slowly tugging it. Has like one arm inside one of them. The one next to it's got like a, a foot. In its mouth, and looks like they're slowly kind of digest this thing if they can. Brian, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of gather some folks around Victor, whoever can, and uh, anyone that needs some healing, come see me. I got some special uh, prayer for you. All right. I, I, once I, they're kind of gathered, I'll participate in that. Once he, once they're kind of gathered, he'll uh, heal everyone uh, thirty hit, or sixteen hit points. I guess that's everybody except for Vigor. Let's see. And Usul. Usul didn't need any. Okay. AS needed one hit. Yeah, it. it was down 10, so. Holy crap. And Usul AS. is going to. Go ahead. Usul is going to stay in gar- Gargoyle for him. For... Okay. All right. Anybody else? Anything else? Did you get your hit points, Nera? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I forgot you're hurt pretty bad, aren't you? Yeah, I had 10, I think. Okay. <laughs> All right. So ship goes back up in between the mountain passes. Um, you guys will, about 15 minutes into it, you'll get a message from Bigger, basically saying that, say, guys, I don't know what's going on, but I, I can't really, I mean, I we're on autopilot and everything, but I don't seem to really have that much control of the ship. I'm not sure what's going on. Again, you guys can't respond to him telepathically, but you get that message from him. So if anybody wants to go upstairs and have a conversation with him, you can. Well, yeah, well, what I'll head up. We're gonna do. Everybody going up? Um, no, Victor will stay. Okay. Um, and with Vona, and guard the front, and then Diddy will place himself right here within ten feet of both of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that means that Usu will stay right here in this perch, right? So she can be within his yep. uh, loving aura, right? Yeah, <laughs> All right. Yep. Want to be in the loving aura. Okay. All right. And, and we'll tie ourselves to the boat. <laughs> okay. So nothing really earth-shattering Nira and Erlen that Vigor shares. They just basically what he already communicated to you guys that he doesn't understand why. He says we've kind of been on autopilot for a while, but I feel I get this sense that the ship is in more control than I am. Has it changed direction? I, I and he's like he shrugs. He says I don't know. Like I said, we're kind of on autopilot. So I don't know what's going on. Do you get the sense that the ship is going where we wanted it to go? I when we originally came to the portal, I had a strong sense that we're about an hour away from our next rendezvous point, but I didn't know what direction. I I don't know. I don't know if this whole encounter is done something to it but it's just it seems like i'm not as in control as i was before out of character didn't we didn't the ship like present itself like uh like zool and ghostbusters or whatever or, or uh whatever where they he asked us to wish for your doom and vigor thought of the stay puff marshmallow man or something <laughs> and... no v- vigor had to make like a uh uh 
forget it was a wisdom save as part of like metagame wise as part of his attunement. And during that, he was getting visions of basically demons and devils being slaughtered and eaten alive and just death and destruction. You know, kinds of visions. Basically, the blood war metagame wise is getting visions of that and how the ship was somehow involved with that. So it it wasn't one of those like pick your choose your death kind of deal. No, he didn't see his death. He just saw the death of, you know, hundreds and hundreds of different humanoids and demons and devils. I, I misread that last time. Sorry. Okay, no worries. Nira's going back down to the research wing so she can look out the window. Yeah, I'm going to try another short rest just to use some hit dice if I can and get some key back. Okay. So it was a half hour in when this fight started. So assuming the ship's still going in the same path, Bigger thinks it's another half hour before they reach your rendezvous point. Okay. So I'll go ahead and roll that. You do finish your, sh- your, your I guess, short rest. So any of the guys that need to get anything back from a short rest, go ahead and do that. Oh, sweet. Uh, we get a short rest, Brian? Yeah, I'll roll that. Uh, you finish a short rest. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll transform back for yeah. that. Okay. Nice. Have we taken another short rest recently? Because I'm down a little bit. You guys I... started to take one before this encounter showed up, so you didn't finish that one. That's what I'm saying right oh, now. Shit. You do finish it, if that makes sense. Um, one, two, three. <laughs> uh, hold on one second. Let me count. <laughs> All right. I need 64. So, Really? I'm gonna take. Right. I'm gonna take two more. Four. I'm at half. All right, so I gain back. Oh, those are thirty-three, thirty-six, thirty-seven. Seven is seventy-one, and thirty is one hundred one. Cool. Sweet. Okay, so. All right, so roughly another hour passes. I need, uh, let me roll this. I need Usul, and I'll go and allow Nira to make a perception check as well. This went well the last time. (laughs) God dang. Look at that shit. 15 is a one. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Whoops. Is yours lagging again, or am I not saying No, it? mine's an 11. It's just oh, above Usul's. Sorry, I got it mixed up with the hit dice there. Yeah. All right, Usul, even with that shitty natural one, you can still see kind of up to the left. Again, you guys are still traveling between two mountain passes, but you can see on the very peak, there's like a small little landing on one of the mountains, and you see what appears to be a giant. Give me a wisdom check to see if you know what kind of giant. Usul. Yep, yep, coming up. <laughs> uh, shit, now I gotta look it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Ah, this uh, definitely looks like a storm giant. Oh, that's Rand's favorite kind of giant. Now, was. All right. <laughs> I don't think anybody in this group was in that side quest where you guys went and fought the dragon with the help of the giants, correct? I think it may have been some of your backup characters, but nobody in this actual party, I think, was part of that. Ignore that, Brian. I'm just messing around. Okay. It wasn't me. Okay. All right. So, again, you see a, a storm giant just kind of standing there, non-threatening, his arms folded as he's watching your ship approach. Heading right for him. Usul is the only one that sees this. I am definitely going to point that out and let everybody know. Okay, so you let everybody... I'm about to get sucked up in there. (laughs) So you let the three people that are close to you know. Yep. And what they do with it is, yeah, up to them. Okay, Diddy, Victor, you guys have any reaction to that? Uh, What's he doing? He's just telling us about the storm giant. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's pointing it out. 
Uh, I'll have a look and I'll go, that's not a... Oh, maybe it is a storm giant. Ugh. Are they good or bad? And wait a minute, what are we going to do if the ship brings that, that on board for uh, a ticket collector? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I'll just strap myself in and go... Um, I reckon, so you reckon the same? It's just bringing things on board that it wants to use for fuel, right? I mean, the ship's not going towards it. The ship is still staying in the center between the, the mountain passes, but this giant is sitting up on a little platform also at the, the very top peak of the mountain that's on the left side of you guys. We made a storm giant before, right? And it was good. I don't think this group has, have they? Oh, no, yeah. Was that the other group that we were playing the Giants? Okay. Um, yep. Uh, uh, yeah, no, then I have no idea. Um, really big giant. I mean, Usul knows it's a storm giant. Why don't we ask it for directions? <laughs> <laughs> just pull over. Man. Just pull over and... Honey, just pull over and ask directions. All right, so the ship is not slowing down. It's still moving forward. I know where I am. It's still moving forward, normal speed, and as the ship gets closer, you see the giant wa uh, raise up one hand and kind of wave. Oh, good. Yeah, well, let's go and let's go. I wave back. <laughs> Hi. You're huge. Oh, you yell that? No, I just like, <laughs> oh, Hi. The high part, yes. The the huge, you're huge is, is no. Okay. It continues waving for a second or two, and then you see it kind of bend over down by its feet, and it picks up a, a it horn. Rocks. It picks up a giant horn. Oh, he's going to play some music. And it starts blowing on this horn. <laughs> With a crack in it, just like my voice did. And then you guys hear this buzzing noise coming from both sides of the mountain pass. And you can see, like, almost like tiny little avalanches of snow on each mountain pass start to kind of uh, be formed on each side. Then you see literally thousands of these tiny little constructs kind of come out of the snow, coming out of little crevices, little caves in the mountains, and start to kind of float and fly up into a big ball of them in the path of the ship. And then the, the storm giant yeah. stops blowing, puts the horn back down. And he's just standing there with his arms crossed and waves. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll call out to him. Did you want us to come and visit? You're shouting this? Yeah, at it, yeah. Okay, it waves at you. <laughs> Is it like a uh... goodbye wave or a come hither <laughs> wave? <laughs> it's both. It's a goodbye in several ways wave. So no, there's a very difference. There, there, I think that a good perception check should determine whether it's a come hither or goodbye wave. <laughs> or, or hello, goodbye. good to see you. You know what I mean? That's an insight check, Brian, if I've ever heard of one. The, the dude is like 250 feet away. <laughs> if I can see him bending over and tall, waving. So... Okay, He's so huge, so he does here. stick out a little easier. So as Victor is like, you know, peering at this... Storm giant, that's way over on the mountaintop. <laughs> this writhing mass of thousands of these little tiny constructs are just kind of boiling and roiling in front of the ship about 200 feet in front of it. Um, those of you on deck will see there's two solo, not two solo, I guess it'd be a duo of these little constructs are flying their way towards the ship. So it's like a goodbye wave, like a F you goodbye <laughs> wave. Or is, it, or is this part of the path? Does it is it waiting for the ship to then help it on its next thing? So we need to talk to Vigor and say, "Hey, Vigor, does the ship know what those things are?" Uh, let's see who's up there with him. You guys aren't up there with him. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't see them anyway. I'm having a nap. So whatever. <laughs> no, but, uh, but you guys will hear Aaron... Vigor's voice in your head saying, "What the fuck is that in front of us? What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> and then the ship comes to a stop. It looks like a net. I don't mean a net, the girl. I mean a net, as in <laughs> as in the Tholi as in the Tholian net. web is what you're talking. As in, yeah. as in not a Mary, but a net. The two solo constructs are coming closer. They're now within about sixty feet, and you see them kind of with their arms up in the air, like in a non-threatening 
uh, motion. I'll do what the giant's doing and wave them towards us. Come on. It's a traffic on. cop. Pull over. Get out your registration <laughs> and insurance. No, we, we, we're going to invite one of Pull the Yeti. It must have been a speed a trap. He wasn't waving. He was gauging our speed. <laughs> he pulled us over because you're a gnome. I, I reckon we need one of these Yeti ticket collectors. If they cause us trouble, we get a chuckle. But... He's going to break our headlights and find us. <laughs> do I have time to move up to the bridge, Brian? Yeah, the ship has stopped. You can see through your window these things approaching. So yeah, I'll, I'll allow you to get up on, on deck if you want. Okay. I'll um I'll go on deck. I won't go all the way to the bridge. I'll just go to the stairs and then I'll back these guys up. Okay. All right. So I don't have tokens for them. So let me just grab something. Oh, I'm, actually, I can. I think I do have tokens for these guys. Let me check. Is this a good or bad time to go AFK for like five minutes, Brian? Oh, I don't know. That'd be like that'd be like me giving something away, would it? Would it not? It was a good try, <laughs> Randy. Really. Uh, son of a bitch, where'd I put them at? Oh, there they are. Okay, here I'll uh, here they are. I do have these in here. So these two little dudes come right up next to you. They're not. They don't land on the ship. They're sort of kind of fluttering with these tiny little wings. Their hands Ooh, are kind of just dangling cool. beside them. Okay. And one of them approaches first within about Victor. 10 feet and it begins to speak. Where's my words? Make it merry or very monotone. Greetings, humanoids. Who is the one in charge here? Oh, Usul will step up and say, that'll be me. Greetings, humanoid leader. We have a few questions for you. And he kind of turns and, and looks at the next monodrome, says, do not be alarmed. And this one steps up and half of its head kind of rolls back into its body. And then uh, like a yellow light springs out from the top of it. Then it turns and it has this yellow cone pretty much that engulfs all of you guys right now. So this is just, this is my, my, my friend here. Uh, Two nine nine seven nine two five four eight will be uh, confirming your answers to my questions. Now, zone of truth, humanoid leader. <laughs> oh, bro, what do they call you? Nightmare. <laughs> Diddy, you're the humanoid leader. Let's go. Oh, I thought Usul stepped forward. Oh, oh Usul, is, oh, okay. Usul, <laughs> do it. I said Usul. Usul. Yep. Usul, you're a one name humanoid. Is this true? Yes. Very strange. Very strange. Turns to the other one. Beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. Who sent you here? Um, Humanoid leader. Who sent you here? Oh, true. Vigor. Vigor. Turns to the other one. Vigor. Beep, boop. That is untrue, humanoid leader. I shall ask again. Who sent you here? Uh, Vigor brought us here. Turns the other one. Beep, boop, beep. This is true. Thank you. What is the name of this ship, humanoid leader? <laughs> Diddy will put up a hand and go, can we ask you guys oh, questions man. as well? Silence. I'm speaking to the humanoid leader. Humanoid leader, what is the name of the ship? I do not know. Beep, doop. You are not humanoid leader. Step aside. Who here is humanoid leader? You mean the person who runs the ship? Captain of the ship? The one who is most knowledgeable. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> See you guys later then. <laughs> I, 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 I <laughs> <laughs> He'll start whistling and go down to the toilet. <laughs> Please, who's humanoid leader? We are a free band of people. We do have no leader. We yeah. share in leadership. Hey, I step up next to Victor. I'm like, yeah, we don't have a leader. We we work together. We're a team. And none of you <laughs> know the name of the ship? Me. No. A ship name, so, something to do with Vigor, but we don't necessarily Vigor's agree. Roost. Vigor's Rose Groost or something, isn't it? 
<laughs> so I, you guys really forgot the name of the ship, or are you guys just trying to be coy? Yeah, true. We, 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 refu- no we refuse to call it whatever Vigor wants to call it, but we know it's Vigor something. So we're telling the truth when we say it's Vigor something, but we have no idea what he actually intends for us to call it. And I don't remember what it was called when Morgan Kane Morgan, Morgan sent us for it. That's and what I'm getting at. Is, is, it, is it the it's players that don't know, or is it the characters? <laughs> It's the players it, just don't know. The character the knows what the name of the what the name of the ship is. Okay, well assuming your characters knew what Morden Cannon called it, would you share that with the with the uh this yes. little construct? Yeah. Okay. There's no reason. It, it has two acceptable names, the Farajan. Farajan, oh. that's the oh. one. Oh okay. or it's it's uh, more common name is a Leviathan. Uh yeah, we were calling it what did he call it? The Vigor. Vigilant or something, or Vigors <laughs> Viagra. So, who shares the actual name of the ship with the uh, constructs? Uh, uh, any of us? I think that we don't I, have a. I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm happy to. Because we're all kind of huddled together. I don't remember what the name was. Was it? Uh, so that's what one uh, answer. Uh, Rajan? Was it that? Was it? Uh, yeah. It steps towards Ail as he says it. You must be humanoid leader. <laughs> You're a funny gang. <laughs> And I like poke its chest. <laughs> like, I have never seen anything like you. Funny before. does not compute. Please. Next question. Where did you come from? Next answer. Well, ultimately, I came from a mom and a dad. Um, <laughs> and then they left me somewhere. Uh, and then I spent some time in the city streets. You can hear he gears actually turning to his life story <laughs> inside of it. It's like, no, no, no. Simple humanoid. I mean, where did you just come from? Where did you bring the ship from? I point back the directions we came from. That way. He turns to the other construct. You, you can hear like something kind of like a electronic giggle from the other one that's that's got the uh, zone of truth going. And I'm please, actually like, please, I need, I need a, I need a like, smart humanoid. What do you made of, out of? <laughs> that's why I left. Which one is a smart humanoid? It kind of flies up the other Robert, one. have you been <laughs> teaching Brian how to DM again? <laughs> Please, smart humanoid, speak up. What What exactly are you looking for? We can answer your questions, but there's only so much information we have. It, you see, it, it's it's little light. It was yellow, like a little eyeball right in the middle of it. It starts to kind of turn to orange. And yeah. You guys notice the, the whirling mass of constructs in front of you. All of them, you see like thousands of little orange lights come on. It says, humanoids, last warning. Where did this ship come from? This ship came from big block of ice somewhere near River Styx. Victor will say. It was crashed back that way, like I pointed. We found it, and now we're taking it home. Its eyes to go back to yellow, and it approaches Victor. River Styx? Is this what you say, humanoid? I believe somewhere near there. We, we travel River Styx. We get off icy place, fall through ice. Find cave, come to ship. What is your name? What you he said. My name is Victor. Goes up to Viddy. What is your name, humanoid? Did we lose Diddy <laughs> again? Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Remember, he said, is this a bad time to go AFK? No, that was me. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, so he's basically going to make his rounds and ask each one of you your names. So all yeah, you need to know yeah. is if anybody's going to try to lie or not tell him the truth. Yeah. Freely give him my name. Okay. Vona lies. He lies like <laughs> a mother. <laughs> Gets kicked off the boat. <laughs> name is Bob. <laughs> Very well, humanoids. Morton Kane is expecting you. And they both kind of start retreating back into the big whirling mass of constructs. If, in front if of you guys. he knew we were bringing it. What? 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 The, oh, my gosh. They had to prove you were correct. Where and they all retreat back into this giant whirling mass of constructs in front of the path of the ship. And then they start to kind of separate. And they form this giant ring that's big enough for basically for the ship to pass through it. And you watch as this all, all the constructs kind of twirl around this giant circle. And lights start to flash. And then they all start to kind of move with this exact same motions all throughout this circle. And then a, a giant portal opens up. <laughs> yeah, I got that reference. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> nice.
<laughs> it's good to see that I'm not the only super nerd. <laughs> All right, the ship starts to uh, pull forward. And Vigor's like, hey, guys, hey, guys, guys, I'm not doing this. Guys, I'm not doing this. Are we okay here? Are we okay? Which none of you guys can answer him because you don't have teleportation or sending or anything, right? <laughs> Correct. Through the glass window, though, so we're going to turn around. I'm going to turn around and give him the thumbs up. <laughs> Aeus is up there and he gives you a thumbs up back, but you can't see him. <laughs> Remember, it's a one way glass. They can see you, but you can't see them in there. All right, so some of you guys don't do anything else. The ship starts to slowly make its way into this portal. First, the front, front of it goes in, gradually, gradually, and you guys all step through the portal. Well, not step through, but pass through the portal. Mm -hmm. And you guys appear in another snowy mountain pass, but you see in front of you a giant tower. A secret tower, actually. Mm -hmm. And we are close to a stopping point there. So I think that is a good stopping point. We'll stop right there. And we'll pick that back up there when we get back into our next session. Oh, that'll be good. Anthony wants to, like, do a little yeah, DJ it. action. A few other <laughs> things have been working. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to deprive him of that, so let's save it for next session. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I wasn't expecting that encounter to last that long, but... I wasn't expecting all the conversation with the with the constructs either, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And the next time we'll this is where I anticipate it being a pretty heavy role playing session in here. So Very cool. We'll see where you Excellent. guys take me. No, this is awesome. the most Thanks, action Alan's had in a while, so that was that was fun. The Yeti was probably our strongest foe we faced. I think the Yeti was stronger than the Pit Fiend. I only would... because only because it had the para the paralysis beam. Yep. Yeah, but I mean that's sickly awesome, powerful. It destroyed our entire party. It's a DC of yeah, all, yeah. all the big people of the party. Yeah, the ones with plus seven con saves just died and like got thrown over a ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think being on the ship actually gave it a little bit of, and the fact that it, it saved its first two con saves as well. I think that was a big, big part of uh, why it was uh, somewhat successful against you guys. Yeah, thanks, Brian. Yeah, because if the, the yeah. stun had gone yeah. off with Nira, that would have been a very different fight. Exactly. Yeah, sorry for it being late, man. I, I wish I was here earlier, but thanks for uh, letting me come in a little bit after hours. That's no, cool, man. I had fun.